Hello everyone, welcome in, welcome in. We are gonna get started with some more Polya. Uh, I have been doing a little bit off stream, but not a whole, whole lot. Uh, I did go into our garden and keep up with that a little bit. Um, so hopefully we've got some apples to harvest again. I did harvest the first round and I have been applying uh, the growth fertilizer to them every single time. Um, so, you know, hopefully that's helped a little bit. But then I also uh, went around and harvested just as much iron as I could manage. Uh, I managed to get into a couple of groves, so I got a little bit of flow wood and just, you know, all the general stuff. Um, so I think it's going to be another 10-ish minutes before it's actually today or 6 a.m. Uh, Zeki has, of course, sent me three coins, because I played three times in our off hours. So hopefully that helps. Ew, weeds. Gross. Alright, we still have time before it's 6 a.m. We gotta get all these weeds up. And then we also have to put new fertilizer down. Because I'm trying to see exactly how much it takes, or how much it helps, uh, I should say, to constantly put fertilizer on the apple trees does it make a big difference um are we just going to get a ton of apples or are they just helping not at all i have no idea what the actual answer will end up being but you know i've got all this fertilizer i might as well try so let's get these watered i think i got all the weeds which is the important part um during my experiment i did of course have one tree that didn't grow uh, for one cycle, so I had to wait for all the other trees. Um, so they they didn't get watered, just the one tree did. And it had to like catch up with its other trees, which kind of threw me off. So I think they're on the same cycle again. Hopefully. Let's water that one, because I forgot about him. And then the middle one. Perfect! Alright. So when I play on my Switch, which is how I usually play this off stream, um, ooh, collect. Does that mean it's fully grown? It does say return to the gardener, so I'm assuming the tree is fully grown. And uh, we finished the house. So we're going to check out what it looks like inside the new two-story harvest house and see if it's worth it to replace our front porch with it. Um, I do see that it would be like there's an actual porch to it and I could make those bay windows. But I don't want to change anything about it just yet. I want to see what it looks like first. Um, and then I'm creating some planks in the meantime because it did take some planks from us. You can see I've already got 207 flow infused ones. So we might be able to finish some of those furnitures we never finished before. Here's open anyway. I got 72 of those going. I've got an okay amount of stone. Uh, the other thing I was doing is I was trying to make more lights, uh, light bulbs specifically, because we're going to need them in order to make more of the little lights. And I didn't make nearly enough glass, so this is going to keep going. I may add a second glass maker at some point just so we can have more light bulbs, but we'll see. Uh, our last round of apples did yield quite a few, so I ended up with five stacks of 30 and then like nine extra so that's a good amount. If our next harvest of apples yields the same amount, then we know it's working. If it yields a different amount, then I don't know what I did. Um, the game did send me some mail, and I answered and grabbed one of them, and it gave me another of the Flutterfox plushes and another Hydrangea flower, or the mixed Hydrangea flower bunches. But as y'all can see, um, I've I've got that Flutterfox plush. I. They didn't really need a second one, but for some reason the game gave me a second one, so I I guess he's just going to be here. Um, the game has been very odd in that it will gift me things twice, and I don't know if that's because I play on both PC and Switch, so it's registering each time as a new login, and it's like, oh, you logged in during the redemption period, here you go, or glitch, I have no idea. Uh, there was a second one that I didn't answer, and it was for another frog. It says, we've sent you a gift. Please find it enclosed. Big frogger. Frogbert plush. So let's put him down. Number six. 
Oh, he was a little bit bigger than I thought he would be. Uh, I don't want to put him in the window, but I also don't want these guys to be alone, so. Come here, you. And you. And we'll put him here. I'd like to put him in the corner, I think. So let's move our choppas. They don't deserve to be just hiding, so we'll just put him here. We'll put him in the corner. He's hiding from the big frogbird plush. And then we'll put these guys back. Boop. And... Boop. They're friends. I've decided they're friends. Perfect. Now I've got so many frogs and so many boxes. They're multiplying. I don't know what happened. I definitely need to put more plushes over here. Um, and there are a couple of pillows from the current Twitch drops that I would love to add um, to everything. And I just haven't actually redeemed them, I don't think. Or I haven't watched enough hours. I don't know which one it is. So let me see. I think I just haven't watched enough hours, actually. I thought I had. Maybe I hadn't. It's fine. I'll figure that part off, out off stream, and then I might add them to this, or maybe here, or something. We'll see. I would love more, like, flat pillows that you can, like, put stuff off, so, like, cushions. That would be great. All right, we got all that, we got all that. Perfect, okay. Still haven't figured out what to do with this little room right here, but that'll depend on how the um, two-story thing goes, so... This entire room may be changed. Part of me is wondering if it's worth it to do the other one or if I should just start a brand new house, like a brand new plot and work on that. I don't know. I have to be like a vampire manor or something. Loot, loot, loot. Let's see. A blue candy egg, which I hadn't had before. An acorn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And some slowdown arrows. Not bad, not bad. I don't really use the slowdown arrows. I probably should when I'm hunting like the Mujin and stuff, but I almost never use anything. All right, so it's built. I have not been inside it yet. I was waiting for you all. So I like the fact that there's a porch. I could do stuff with the porch for sure. Put furniture out here. Maybe that swing from the spring set, I could put it in here. Is that what, is what makes sense to my brain? Or like a little table and some chairs. A couple of like chairs right here maybe depends all right oh oh it's a spiral staircase okay is it all right it's a big u shape not loving that but not hating it um it is a pretty decent sized room i don't know if i could use it necessarily as the same layout i think i would have to um like put the kitchen off of another side so like i think i would have to put like the the fireplace over here somewhere instead of having the kitchen come off of here i'm not sure let's see okay can't really do much with the upstairs um I guess we'll go outside and see if there's any way to add a room to the upstairs. Because if I can add rooms to upstairs, it's over. Like, I'm I'm ready for that, if that's a thing. Uh, if we can't, and we can only add them to the first floor, then I don't know what I'll do. So, let's find out. Alright, so we're going to take... Um, hmm. I guess I will use this small room as a possible says rooms 1 of 15. Um, I can see places to put them on the ground floor. I cannot see ways to put them on the other floors. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say that you can't put uh, rooms off the top floor. Which is a little disappointing. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I could for sure change this up to where the big grand harvest house is right here um i would definitely have to move some things because i think it's wider than this one um i would definitely want to change out my bay windows because i like having bay windows on the front of the house even though there's a couple that aren't i think huh 
I think I'd want to change up where the uh, fireplace is so it couldn't remain in the same layout. But it's not bad. Uh, can I switch it to a different one? Load. Oh, okay. I thought maybe I could just swap it over. I guess I can't. Okay. Because I definitely don't want this just kind of sitting out here. So can I just right click? Oh! Okay. If I right click on it, it disappears. I like that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's swap back to this one and see. And then pop our, our big old grand two-story house. Uh, what I may be able to do is I may be able to do like experimentations, see kind of how it would work, see how it looks. And if we fall in love with it, then of course I can always use it as my, my base house. But it's so large that I'm not sure it would work. Um, my thought process is that if I were to put this out and build big rooms on the other sides of it, it wouldn't quite work. So like I have large rooms um, and they would just stick off the edge like that. Well, I mean, nothing saying I can't. I did buy them already, so I might as well try. Um, might as well put these windows on here. And then we'll put our fireplace right here. See what happens. Because I can't stick the fireplace on anywhere else. Um, so, you know, why not give it a chance? I don't think I have the supplies to do this with, but I'm, you know. Yeah, no, I've only got 46 of the sapwood planks. Okay, that's fine. Let's do it anyway. Oh, two iron bars and I don't have enough stone bricks. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. I can make some stone bricks, that's fine. And of course I don't have anything for this one now, because I just used it all. You've been here, but you forgot to say stream time. Oh no. We're uh, seeing what it would be like if we switched over to the deluxe harvest house, or grand harvest house, or whatever it's called. So far, not 100% sure on it, but meh, it's okay. Go back to our default slot. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know, because I, I like ours, but it doesn't necessarily make sense design-wise. What I may have to do is I may have to swap these two rooms um, so that it's the smaller room coming off of this. But I also don't hate it necessarily. I do think it needs some work. I think that there's something in the design that needs to change so that I have a happy, healthy household. But I don't know what yet. I don't know if the solution is that this needs to be a medium room instead, or like what can happen to make this layout better. I'm not sure. But for now, it's fine. What I do need to do is uh, make a whole bunch more stuff. <laughs> Apparently I need to make just a lot more stone bricks, which is fine. Uh, and a lot more of the... Um, oh, I thought I moved that whole stack. No wonder I didn't have enough. Uh, I was going to say a lot more of the sapwood, but apparently I had more sapwood than I thought. How did that happen? I didn't know. It's fine. Alright, I got more sapwood. Boop. Boop. There we go. I'll definitely still need more, for sure. Uh, I think this one's... Oh, I need uh, stone bricks for that. That's right. I say, I think this one's already going, but it's not. Definitely not. Okay, only 55. Yikes. Okay. I'm gonna need to cut down some more trees. Good thing they spawn super easy. I guess. All right. Back to our normal plot. Uh, I probably shouldn't be um, trying to build a whole nother house when I still haven't finished this one. But, you know, I don't know. There's just something about having it and having the ability to make a bunch of stuff 
and not doing it, that's like, ah, that's kind of weird. Alright, so that's going to keep making glass. I can make eight of the little lamps there. Uh, we didn't finish the ones on the back of the house, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the ones for the front of the house first. Only because they're more visible as you first enter the plot. So those are the spring fever. Scroll, 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 scroll. Um, and they are the curved lamps. Wow. Literally just eight, because I only have eight, eight, eight light bulbs. And we're out of money. That was the other thing that we ended up doing, was running ourselves out of money. All right. Let's grab the weeds. It's not ready to harvest still. Jeez. Okay. Make sure we don't have any wayward weeds. Aha! There's one hiding. That's what happened to me the first time, is it was hiding in, like, the roots. So I didn't see it, and so, I, of course, I couldn't pick it. And that was my downfall. Alright. Okay. Now, yes, I could probably just put several rounds on these. Um, so that they're, like, ready to go. So instead of Harvest Boost 9, like to get Harvest Boost 18, like this one. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and do... All right, one, two... We know that first one was done, so we don't have to do it. But I don't know if this actually helps at all. Alright. Everything should be 18 now. Harvest Boost 18. Perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, nice. <laughs> Trying to water all the plants. And of course the watering can runs out of water super fast and durability super fast because we're watering these trees. It'd be the same as if we had watered 81 individual plants instead of nine that take up nine spaces a piece, but still. There is, for certain, a more efficient way to grow apples uh, that gets you a bunch. I just don't know what it is. So, that's my bad. I probably should have looked into it before I started my farm again. But I didn't. So, oops. I don't remember what color we made this. It was a purple, but I don't remember what the name of the color was. So. Oops. I bypassed what I was trying to do. Uh, purple. No. Purple? Was it berry or classic? I think it was berry. Well, if it wasn't berry, it's berry now. And that one. That one. This one. Thankfully, it only takes two of the modification uh, things. So, we've got plenty. All right, one, two, we're just making sure they're all done. Berry, 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 berry. All right, nice. Now to actually put them out. Um, I know we're going to need more, and it would certainly be more effective if I had more, but that's okay. I want them to kind of be right here, but to face inward. So that looks right, but is it? Yeah, that's right. And then the next one would be here. I might put them um, like two apart to where they're not super close together, but they're not super far apart. But I'm going to see what that looks like first before I commit to that. Because I can always add more. If I think they're too far apart and I hate it, I can always add more. That's the beauty of crafting. Definitely didn't have enough, even if I just spraced them out like this. Uh, let's see, where's the next one? One. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, number eight. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop. Alright, and this one. Alright, I was one short if we only make them every other. So not bad. Um, I do like that, actually. I think I will keep it as every other for now. Um... Once I've got the final one, I think I'll uh, be more certain. 
But yeah, no, I, I think that's good. The only thing I still need is a light bulb. Let's see. Go ahead and make a light bulb as soon as these are done. And I'll swap back over. Let's see. That's still making iron. Perfect. We're going to need plenty of that. And that's making stone. Now, I did debate on the ones in the back because these ones are lighting the entire way. And I'm wondering if I need to spread them out instead of having them like every step of the way. Because obviously, like, we need some here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might need to spread them out a little bit instead of having them literally light the whole way. So I think if I came through with... I was going to say some siding, but the siding doesn't curve. So maybe not. Um, I don't know. I, it definitely needs something as like a, a path. But I don't think the lights necessarily have to be that close together. So... Um, we'll probably need one to two more here, and then it would be like three, four, five, six, seven-ish, and then we go through here, and then we need eight and nine at least, so we're gonna need like ten more light bulbs, which is a lot, but that's okay. And then I thought about adding lights in here. Um, there are the, the little lamps like we put up in the top that you can't see. It's kind of sad. I need a bigger light for in there is what I need. Because I feel like it needs to have a little light in it. But what we did was we put in one of these. And I like these a lot because they're just little glowing jars. So I thought about making them in different colors. Uh, just making one of each color like we did with the plates and putting those inside of the gazebo. But I'm not 100% sure if that's what I need or if I need like little tiki lights, kind of like these, but taller, or if I just need to put lights in the little, um, in this little thing, like put lights all in this. Cause I think that would probably be more effective if I just stuck lights down in this thing, um, just among everything, but also, why can't I turn this on? I'm not trying to get seeds. I'm trying to turn this light on. I probably could turn this light on if I could actually get up next to it. Hmm. Maybe it comes on automatically and I just never noticed. We'll have to wait for nightfall for that one, I guess. Alright, let's see. There's our frogbert. Our beak boy. I did also think about putting lights out by Frogbert. Because, like, when you first step in this room, he's not immediately obvious. I think at night, if he had, like, lights underneath him, he might be a little scary. But if we put, like, hanging lights, like wall lights, that kind of, like, show you where he is, wouldn't be as bad. The other thing I thought about doing was making the porch a little different. Um, but I don't know if we can put, like, the building blocks down and have them form a porch. I don't think that actually works. I think the only way we're going to get the big porch, which is what I was aiming for when I built this, I think the only way we're going to get the big porch, like, in the other house, is to use the other house. So, it's a little disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. So, it's all right. All right, and of course we've got this thingy. Puts fire in here, which is probably dangerous. But it's fine. I was... I was debating on what to do with my bug and fish collection. Um, because I think originally we were going to make, like, a secret room that you could get into that was going to have all this stuff in it. But now I think I'm just waiting to see if I can get the aquarium and the... Um, whatever insectarium whatever whatever the bug equivalent terrarium that's the word um if i can get one of those i did in the off hours accidentally move the lights but i kind of like where they are they're not quite centered anymore 
They're kind of at a diagonal, but I don't know, because it doesn't really give enough light in here. Honestly, that's one of my biggest complaints about Palia is that the lights don't give off enough light. Like, this, there's not enough light here. If I bake something, there will be light coming out of it, but unless it's in use, there's no light here. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I need to add a light of some sort, like a little wall light maybe behind it. Everything is just so shadowed. <laughs> I need more lights, dang it. I don't get enough natural light in these windows, which is weird because I thought the plot was pretty open. Um, like the sun is directly in the sky pretty much all the time. You'd think that I would get more light, but no, between the roof and like maybe the trees, nothing. That's okay. All right. So far, so good. I think, like I said, we're going to need a lot more of these kinds of trees. We're going to need a lot more um, iron, probably, in the end. So far, our iron count is pretty good. So I'm not going to run out and try to get some more just a second. Um, doing well with this, the sapwood planks. We need a lot more, of course. And then, of course, light bulbs. I need light bulbs so badly. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So we can finish this if we get one more light bulb. I'm gonna request one. I'm gonna see if, oh, three light bulbs. I don't need three light bulbs. I mean, I do, but that's okay. And we're gonna see what's never been crafted. Can I make things that I've never crafted before and finish off some more of these achievements? Probably not, but we're gonna try anyway. All right, Dragon Tide, very nice. The bookshelf. I have 207 planks. I only need 30 for this. Uh, I am going to need some more leather. Interesting. And then, of course, I've got poly and bars. Boop. Fantastic. Ooh. I thought I knew all the recipes for Dragon Tide. I didn't. It's now 28. And my focus is still okay. Uh, never crafted. Ah. Why'd you go all the way down there? Boop, 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 boop. All these builders things that I've never crafted, it's like, oh, my bad. I meant to make them, and then I didn't. Alright, let's see. Oh, the pantry's nice. Hmm. I like the one we have, but had I not known that there was one that you could, like, put actual plates into, I probably would have used this instead. So, we'll make them. We're just making it for the the recipe's sake, I guess, technically. Never crafted. All right, so to make the couch, we still need some leather. We've got enough silk. To make the end table, we've got everything we need. So we're gonna need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of this. Plenty of this, I think. Okay, 30, 12 and eight, it's 20, so 50, 80. So we got plenty of that. So I've got enough silk, I've got enough polyum, I just need two more pieces of leather. Weird. Uh, I am probably going to have to put something away to be able to get out our leather or our uh, cloth thingy. If I could remember what it's called. <laughs> um, do I have the thing that just... I have furniture. Furniture is not what I need. I need the, the creator thingy. Is it an equipment? Worm farm. Sell new. There it is. Fabric loom. It is an equipment for the record. All right. I am at my limit. I cannot make this unless I like pick up the anvil or something. So let's pick up the anvil. Place the loom. Ooh. What? But I picked up the anvil. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I could pick up one of these. So we're not using them. Um, I could, but I don't think I have enough. Well, I mean, I have enough apples to put in it. I could put apples in it. Yeah, let's go ahead and put apples in the hopper. Why not? 
We'll need the preserves for the coming days. AKA my pockets. Nice. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab one of these uh, seed thingies. Just because we're not making seeds right now. And then we will make some leather. Alright, there we go. How did I... How did I end up with, one, such low amounts of leather, but two, not enough writs. I thought I had enough writs for everything on my property, but I guess not. Let's grab those. All right, glass light bulb is going to take us about 18 minutes, so that's not too bad. It will take us a little while to make those, but now we can make stuff that we need. Actually, it's stuff that we don't need, but, you know, who's counting? Alright, got an end table. Let's make the... Oops. Alright, let's make the... Do, 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 do. The wardrobe. Uncommon furniture! Woohoo! Um, let's see. Here's the nightstand. Is it just the nightstand and the couch? Yes. Fantastic. So I think that leaves us with almost everything. Uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Oops. We separated them already. My bad. Come on, scroll, scroll, scroll. All right, so the only thing I still need is the leather. I've got just enough silk, uh, just enough polyam bars, just enough blown beef planks. But like literally just enough silk. Uh, and I just need these two to finish. Perfect. And of course we're out of focus. That's fine. I have fish. So I went ahead and also made some lucky braised fish while we were off. Um, and that of course is super helpful. Because then I can um, enjoy having my stuff. Without having to scramble for what I need. So those are full. I'm not going to put our apples in the selling box just yet. We're just going to go ahead and put the weeds that we picked. Those are going to take a while to make. These are going to take just forever. And then I've got these going. Um, that was one of the other things I did was I went ahead and um, had our glowworm farms going. I guess I'll pick up the glowworms too. Stop ignoring them. Quite a lot, actually. I don't know how many glowworms each of these makes. So, wait, did I? Oh, already grabbed them. I was on number four. JK. Uh, and we're gonna sell some glowworms because they make decent money. Is this game cool? Yes. Depends on your definition of cool. Do you like all the side stuff in an MMO and not the actual MMO portion? That's the real question. Because I can go shoot deer or weird beaver things that hide underground or Mujins. So I can hunt in this game and I can cook and eat their meat. But most of the game is this peaceful crafty stuff. So if you don't like peaceful crafty stuff, the game may not be for you. And that's okay. What is that? Where are you? Open tour board. What? Tisha's dream house. Lay down your worries at the heartwarming hearth of sweet home haven. Wander through cozy rooms adorned with twinkling lights and inviting decor. Prepare to be charmed and inspired by every nook and cranny. Uh, there's a spotlight and there's a coming soon. Coming soon. Get ready for home tours. Explore your fellow Polyans' creativity in the next patch. Dazzle your fellow Polyans with home tours, the newest feature coming to Polya. Discover magical homes. Explore a variety of stunning abodes from cozy cottages to marvelous mansions. It kind of looks like my time at Portia. I'll show you some more of the actual gameplay in just a sec. Because this is stuff that's coming soon and not quite here. Um, but I'm excited for it. Uh, love what you see while on tour. Shower that home with praise by selecting the perfect reaction for it. Get a treasure trove of decorating ideas to sprinkle into your own home. Your next great idea is just tour away. Join a global community of interior designers and avid collectors in sharing the joy of decorating. Each week, players will be able to opt in to sharing a specific plot with Polyans all over the world. 
Other players will then be able to visit those plots and share a reaction. The more you get, the better the tier of rewards. Choose one plot to submit each week. Players can then leave a reaction to your plot when they visit. You will not be able to see or interact with the player who is touring. Interesting. And then can I go to the spotlight? This is a new feature, so it may or may not work. Okay. So this is Tish's house. Let's see what we're in for. Oh, okay. So she's got the big deluxe, um, whatever it's called. She does not have anything going here, which she can't really move those. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so she's using the little, um, the little sticks from the new builder set, and then a table lamp. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody got that from somewhere. Okay. I actually kind of like that. If it wasn't for the fact that I like having all the flowers around my fountains, I would probably copy this little putting it up on an elevated surface thing. There's also... Okay, so she's using slanted ones to make that happen. Okay, cool. Alright, makes sense. Patches of flowers with the pavers. Okay. So there's like a bordered paver you can make. Um, and it looks like she's actually put them down to like line where those go. Love that. This I think is a bench. But I don't know what this set is. So that's neat, but I don't know where to find that. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Where is this stuff from? Hold on. Where is this stuff from? Is that new or did I just miss it somewhere? We have one of these. Fantastic. And then she is growing just blue hydrangeas. Ah, they copied my little thing. Oh no. Okay, so they put a stone thing under it so that it's more of a... Okay, that makes sense. She's put couches. She's got tables in here. Planters, stuff like that. Okay. Aw, but I was using this. Now people are going to think I copied her. Uh, I don't know if she's using anything up top. We put a little light up there. I don't know if she did. Okay. Little fountain. What is this? Oh, it's a courtyard! Oh, look! It's the koi pond! Oh, I want this thing so bad. I want this thing so bad. Is that an aquarium? No, it's the falling leaf thing. Oh, but that's three... Oh, it's cool! I didn't know it was going to be 3D like that. That's actually really cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. This wall is kind of cool, too. I wish you could find out what stuff was. Like, if I looked at this wallpaper, it would tell me, like, what it's called. So I would know. That'd be cool. Alright. Okay. This is a nice living room. I think it's a large room size. Yeah, I think it's a large room size. Very nice. She has everything spread out just so, which I like. Mine is very boxy. It's not very angular. So I think if we were to switch from the regular size to the, um, like the big one, the double, the two-story one, I would probably spread it out a little more. Um, this is supposed to be her entrance, which we didn't come in. She's got lots of outdoor furniture, which I like quite a bit. Ooh. What is that? I don't have one of those. I have something similar, but not quite. She's got sunflowers here, sunflowers there. I think that's just part of the bay. Oh no, that's just part of the double window. Just kidding. Very nice. Interesting choice to have the flowers basically growing right out of the ground. I didn't know you could do that, but also cool. She basically built her house on top of flowers. Okay, she's got a dining room and a little kitchen coming off of it. Oh, now that, see, that's kind of like what I want to do, is build a little kitchen island. But mine never comes out looking this nice, so I need to find a way to make it look nicer, I think. She's got three stoves and two ovens. <laughs> Very nice. And then she's got these as countertops. Good choice, good choice. Okay, all right. And it leads out to... Ooh, hello. 
Okay. So she's got another house out here, which is the original Harvest House, I think. Um, this looks like the Emberborn set. Very difficult to get. Ooh, mirror. But very nice. I like it. A random gem? Okay. Uh, more gems. Very cool. She got a porch on the back. I don't know what this is. A bath, maybe? I do bath. Okay. And then as we stepped outside, which I missed, there was a little greenhouse thingy uh, and a worm planter. Very cool. What is that flower? What is this flower right here? I don't know what that is. I know what the orange one is, but I don't know what this one is. Hmm. There's a fireplace from the back. Okay. Oh, another fireplace. Okay. There's a little sitting area out here with a hot tub. So we can use a bath as a hot tub. I think that'd be a good choice. A little sitting area with a fire. Very cool. Um, okay. Bathroom. Sitting area. Oh, this was off the courtyard. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, actually, I really like that wallpaper. And I like this dark color. I wonder what that is. Is that classic, maybe? I think that's the classic paint job on several of the uh, Bellflower set. I actually like that a lot. Hmm, I might do that. Very nice tub. And then the tub, for some reason, leads out to the outdoors. That's a little weird, but I do like the fact that it's a hallway and then, like, a little stair set. Let's see. Same thing over here, but this one comes off of a bedroom. Oh, this is still the courtyard, JK. Okay. More of a magic room. Pretty neat. Uh, mostly the Moonstruck set, but a couple of the pieces are in a different color, and that is the Lunar Moth plush. Man, can you romance? Yes, you can. I'm sorry. I know I said I was going to show you more of the gameplay, and then I got fascinated by the devs putting in a fully decorated house that I'm so jealous of. Alright, back into here, so I can look at stuff. Okay, and then a fancy thing. This is the Dragonborn set that we were working on. That is the Terrarium, and that is the Aquarium. I'm assuming we can't actually put our own fish in these, but I don't know because I don't have one. Oh. That's an underwater chest. Oh, she's got like antique chests for each one. That's kind of cool. Wall art that is bugs and stuff. Okay, okay. A lot of the Dragonborn set with like a little bit of the Moonstruck set. A little more mystical in here. Spot to play chess. Very cool. Okay. Hello, Kuzu. How are you? I got distracted by the dream house that they stuck in the game and now I'm feeling inadequate. Can I go home? Uh, let's see. Number three. What do you think of this home? That one. Number five. Return home. Okay. I can go home. I was trying to figure out how to get out of here. Just annoyed at trying to get things to spawn in the game. Oh, that's the worst. How am I? I'm doing okay. Um, work was fine. I am not sure how tomorrow's gonna go. I think it'll be okay, but it's also one of those situations where uh, one of my coworkers was maybe not having the best day, and you know I want to do everything I can to help her, but I don't know if she's gonna want my help. So. Oh, they do come on automatically. Okay, cool. Very cool. See, people are going to think that I copied Tish because I had this in the middle of my gazebo. And I had all these flowers around it. But I'm going to need a lot more flowers because, like, hers filled up this whole thing. And mine don't. <laughs> so I'm going to need a lot more flower seeds, I think. But that's okay. One piece at a time. 
I'm still debating on if I need this much light, like this many lights along this pathway. But now that it's dark, it looks like a good amount of lights, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I definitely need more flowers around this thing. I think if I had um, like different colors that it would work. Because I've got the multicolor hydrangea seeds, um, so I could put those around this, but I don't know if that would fit. So, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm liking it so far. Anyway, to answer Inflame's question, yes, you can in fact romance people in this game, and I am romancing them all. Because I'm good like that. Let's go see some of our bows. All of our bows. Everybody. We'll go smooch on a bunch of people. You can't actually smooch anybody. I'm sorry. You can romance people in this game, but you can't take your relationship past, like... Oh, my god. Can I help? There you go, friend. Heart. Whee. I just came out of my house and there was a flow tree. What was I supposed to do? I hope we didn't steal the opportunity from somebody else that was on their way, though. That would kind of suck. Alright. Time to go see all the people we're flirting with. Not this robot. We're flirting with Gina! Hi, Gina. I'm the what? Humans with a friend local? Ah, I have a bad habit of talking to myself. What? Cece, I didn't see you there. I wasn't daydreaming about you, I swear. Okay, I was. A little bit. But just a little. Robot is thick. Her name is Hecla. She is Gina's bodyguard? Caretaker? Some. Have you seen that, I think that person is following us now. Do not be disturbed. But I believe we are being watched. I'm not convinced you're truly yourself at the moment. Uh, one of the other people you can romance is Kenyatta. Being charming isn't illegal. She is the like rich daughter of like the mayor and the mayor's wife and like she's trying to rebel against her mom but she secretly wants to be a nurse it's a whole thing maybe a vet it may not be nurse it may be a veterinarian technically if boredom could kill i'd be dead a thousand times over already you're late am i yeah i've been waiting for you to come flirt with me all day i'll wow. miss scheming with you wow you cannot flirt with Hecla. She is only friend. Um, I think most of the other romanceable options are going to be asleep. But there are still friendship Got options that are awake. Zeki's awake. The more you spend, the more you get back. Trust me, that's just how the world works. Mm. Hey kid, don't mind me. I'm just looking up at the stars, wondering which one of those planets is the Grimalkin homeworld. We've been down here a couple hundred years, and sadly the location of our home was lost to time. I'm not even sure if our culture has anything to do with the old world culture. Do those cats up there got cartels and debt? Or is that just us folks down here? Eh, I suppose it don't matter one way or another. Ain't no way I'm ever going up there. I love our chat, but I got Interesting. You also cannot romance this one. Glad you're not too busy to He's our dad, basically. He's the one we picked to be our, like chosen family in the village basically so i have to admit night always unsettles me a bit how do you feel about the dark i'm not scared of anything you're luckier than i am then that's Don't not true me. i'm scared of cockroaches so wait what did that say veil moth oh neat chat with What's subira we can romance subira thing. Friends? Greetings, citizen. Clerk. I appreciate your gifts, truly, but I am afraid I have very little of my own to give in return. Uh, I'll take holding hands in secret behind the inn. All I need is your company. I accept compliments. I love local flowers. Mm, I love local flowers. I have very little free time in which to go pick flower picking, but I will keep an eye out the next time I patrol. Nice. She's going to pick us flowers, even though she's technically not allowed to date us. And don't worry, if your favorite happens to be robots, there is a romanceable robot. 
he's just also a little hyper fixated on fishing in that that is his only love in life allegedly so let's go find him flirt with him I flirted with him the other day and I said I'm here to flirt with you and he goes well a happy flirting to you it's like sir that's not it's not what I meant <laughs> that's not what I meant at all Hello, Einar. Welcome to being the robot we can flirt with. I'm gonna make smoochy faces at you. The way your face flaps move captivates me. It appears as if someone is speaking to me. How bemusing. Flirt. Hmm. Hello, Cece. I am ready co to commence the flirtations. Great, I've got like 50 new ones. Do you like it when we flirt? I got like 50 new ones. Oh. I await with anticipation and delight. Speaking with you is always an enjoyable diversion. Mm. Return when you need validation of the <sighs> emotional kind. Return when you need validation of the emotional kind. Anybody before I catch? Uh, we're ignoring the Veil Moth stuff. I don't really want a Veil Moth. I don't think the Veil Moths drop a plush, so I'm not really, like, after one. All right, who else? I don't think there's anybody else that's awake, but we can always go to the underground where Reth should be, and he is also romanceable. If we can't find them visually, we'll go and find them um, on the map of how many, like the relationship tree, basically. So it's a map of how far along you are, um, if they have asked you for anything specific, that kind of thing. Secret bookshelf. And I haven't even gotten to the hunting, or the mining, or the fishing. There's a lot of stuff to do in this game. But it's kind of one of those games that you kind of play at your own pace. Um, there's been a few quest lines that have had, like, a little bit of, like, jumping puzzles, a little bit of, um, like, platforming and mystery and searching for things. But nothing really total yet. I don't have anything interesting to tell you. I was trying to push this button. Open store. All right. We've got piles of coins. So for 20,000 gold, you can buy a pile of gold. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, the Windy Wisteria for 25,000. And I already bought these recipes. Uh, of course, there is the fireworks, which I love quite a lot. And then the, like, like, outdoorsy wallpaper. So, like, the grove, the mountain, the wisteria. Wisteria is very pretty. I may buy this one eventually and put it in our plushie room. But I haven't decided yet. We're actually down here because I have some lucky boxes to grab. <gasps> oh, hello. Wait a minute. Wait, I had three coins and I got six boxes. Oh, each coin gives us two boxes. Heck yeah. Open. Egg. Aw. Potato seed. Ooh, a vase. Glow worms. I have plenty of glow worms. Okay. Okay. All right, so the only thing we got that was worth it was the vase, and I think I already have one. <laughs> Hello. All right, it's folding screen. Ooh, bathtub. Very nice. Check out the rugs. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Ooh, I really like that one. Can I buy both? Ooh, there's a third one. I didn't even notice. The, what is this? The investigator rug. Ooh, I definitely can't afford that. How much money do I have? Not enough. So I can afford this one. Um, and I thought about getting it because I could maybe put it under that um the fire thing that we have thank you i hope you're having a good day too but i don't actually know if we can do that i may not be able to put it on a rug so for now i'm gonna leave the small rug alone um ooh, hello. spin the wheel oh requires two prize wheel coins how do i get those i don't get prize wheel coins 
How does that work? Hello. Doing a pretty amazing. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How do I get prize wheel coins? Let's just say this. People talk about receiving pearls of wisdom. I don't care about that, Huey. I want actual pearls. The rarer, the better. So he wants green pearls? Oh, I don't think I have any. Yeah, I definitely don't have any on me. Talk to you later. And unfortunately, you have to carry the stuff on you. You can't just pull it out of your inventory, your uh, storage like we do with everything else. How do I get prize coins? I don't know how to get those. Claw machine. I want to use the claw machine. The tower. Oh, that's that jumping thing. This is... What is this? Oh, heavy metal choppa. The little side-scroller. How's my stream journey going? Uh, it's fine, I think. Can I buy anything new? No. Aw, he was bartending. That was Your fun. Eyes are like, um, What's up, Hyra? Chat. Last night, I had the wildest dream. I was the Duke of Bahari, and I had a pet palcat, right? But the pet palcat was just Zeki's head on a palcat's body. He could still speak, too, and he kept causing international incidents in the middle of holding court. How long have I been streaming? Over a year. Not sure I'll ever be able to look at him the same again. So he had a dream that his sort of boss, the person who kind of owns him because he works for him in the cartel, uh, was on a pal cat, which is traditionally a pet, but his head, and was causing international incidents crazy thanks um i've changed my schedule quite a few times but for the most part like i've been streaming for about a year so um well over a year really i had my um anniversary several months ago so about a year and a half a cook's plaque i don't know what it is but i have enough metals that i could buy it or i could pick up the market stand which I thought about doing. I thought about having the market stand as like a like a side thing on one of my house plots, but I never actually made a house plot that would make sense with this. So what I'll need to do is raise my cooking up to level 20 and save up 110, no, 210 more metals. So you're going to be a streamer in the future. Hopefully you'll stream art. Currently make art for your streamer friends. I have to look up some of my work. I may recently for my friends. Um, I mean, I will look at it if you want to send it to me and you want me to look at it after stream. But I'm uh, not currently in the market for anything if you are looking to sell. So. I uh, hope you don't realize I'm a mistake once you leave. He just said, I hope you don't realize I'm a mistake once you leave. Yeah, you can send it to me on Discord. Um, I don't usually check my Discord while I'm on stream. I find that to be not very fun. Um, mostly because it takes away from being able to play my games. And being able to interact with my chat. So, I don't really check my Discord while I'm on stream. But I've got one. This will start in 20 seconds, so... And that's the other thing. Like, you can see, like, we're about to start the thing... But because I'm having to step away to do something, um, it can be a little, a little difficult sometimes. It is that. I just put it in the chat. Game start. Oh, I am at a good spot already. Nice. <laughs> yes, the bot sent you the, the link to the Discord. Oh, wait, are we... Oh, we're going counterclockwise. Interesting. Um, draw. <laughs> noodles? Nope. I don't need noodles. I need... I don't know what. Let's see. I've got three orange, and I've got... So I've got the orange set, and I've got the gray set already. Um, I guess I could work on the yellow set. I don't know. I don't really need this tofu because I've got it, but if I get a third tofu on the board, I can always switch these out for something else. Oh, and for those who don't know, this is Hot Pot. It's basically gin rummy, um, but with Hot Pot ingredients instead of weird symbols. So, see, there's these two on the board. I guess I could have grabbed one of those. 
but no. Let's see. Oh, a third tofu. Heck yeah. Mm. Let's discard that. Alright, I will need a fourth tofu or to get rid of these two. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And I don't know how everyone else is playing, so I don't know if we'll get... Um, hmm... Yeah, I could probably do that. It's fine. I don't know if anyone else will be going for three three of a kinds, or if they'll go for three sets. Or a mix of both, like we're doing. So, that's the hard part. And because you also have to keep an eye on... Oh, I just I just discarded that, and then I got a new one. Oh no. It's fine. Meat. Carrots. This person seems to be collecting meat. I don't know what she's collecting. And this person wants to play, but it's kind of full right now. Because we're in the middle of a game, it won't let us start a new one. So, we have to wait. Round eight. We'll probably grab that, because we can discard that. So if we get the third green one, we win. Oh, somebody else won. We got a prize wheel coin for playing. Oh. Oh, I'm for sure playing Hot Pot. Oh, man. Okay. We need to win. Gotta win. Okay. All right. Two people joined. Oh, that's from one of the new sets. That's a nice top. Darjeeling Black. Nice. Oh, this person's going first. Okay. All right. We got two of these. We got two from this set. And then just a third something. I think I may take these noodles and try to make another three of a kind. But we'll see what shapes out for the rest of the board. Oh, they took the noodles. Never mind. Um, we'll take that. And we will give up the fish. Now we've got a three of a kind. Right off the bat. The three of a kinds are worth more. Um, so that's kind of why we, we aim for those. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world if we don't get them. I'd like this spice sprout, so I can trade out the noodles or something. Ooh, I could get that. Nah, three of a kind. Three of a kind. Three of a kind. Oh, hmm. took a carrot. Interesting. All right, I need one more spice sprout, and then whatever I'm missing gray is. I always forget. Okay. Nope. Somebody else can have the crab claw. I don't need it. And it is, in fact, a crab claw. It's not like a lobster claw or anything. Because there's only crabs in this game. I don't think I've seen a lobster, actually. Hmm. Come to think of it, I don't think I have. All right. I just need my missing things, please. Please, I want to win. Spice Sprout! Thank you. We caught that fast. <laughs> as soon as it was our turn, it was like, oh, I need that. All right, now I just need my missing gray. No idea what the missing gray is, though. That's kind of the problem. And if somebody else gets their three before us, then, well... We're kind of up a creek at that point. Alright, draw. Now, we know we didn't get it if we don't automatically win. Um, so, I'm not really going to pay attention to what we draw unless it's something that like, oh, I could switch off for the tofu or I could switch off for the dumpling and get three three of a kinds. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I think we're probably going to end up with just... Oh, the Temptation. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. We're gonna go for the three set, not the three of a kind. But if we draw another dumpling, I'm gonna feel real silly. Real silly. Oh, there's our missing one. Boop! Time to eat! And we got two prize wheel coins for winning! Heck yeah! And it is past 3 a.m., so the game is done. Alright! So they added something that will encourage us to actually play. 
Uh, I like that quite a lot. But you need two prize wheel coins to be able to spin, which means you either need to win once or you need to lose multiple times. All right, because at 3 a.m. everything kind of shuts down. He stops selling stuff, so on and so forth. Very cool. We have middle of the night activities. So we can either go find the grove with everyone in Bahari, or we can come to Zeki's underground market and play hot pot. I know which one I'm picking. Because I love hot pot. I think I was one of the loudest people talking about it needed to come back. Hey, look, we saw that person before. I don't think we were the only streamer that said, hey, this needs to be a permanent fixture in this game. But I certainly said it a lot. I'm not even going to pretend like I didn't. All right, what do we get? Ooh, high quality wild ginger. Nice. Okay. So it seems like it's going to be ingredients every time, which I'm all for. But we're not really using ingredients. Here's Sifu. She is not romanceable. That's okay. She's still cool, though. Alright. Four polyons ahead of us? Not for my house, there isn't. I hope. So, hopefully we'll be able to have our house looking a little bit cooler by the time they add the ability to put it up for the showcase. But... I mean, compared to Tish's... I don't think ours is looking all that great. So it's going to need a lot of work. It's going to need just a whole lot of TLC. And, I mean, given the fact that there was a room that had the Bahari set, or the uh, Bellflower set, but it was in that, like, classic type color shade. Ooh, it makes me want to add another room to this whole thing. So I am tempted... To add, just like add more house. <laughs> but there's only so much room based on where we've placed our house. So I don't know. I think it's a decent setup, but at the same time, like I could probably get rid of this, this, and this, and still be happy with my whole house layout. It would only have one bedroom, so it would be a, a one bedroom with a giant kitchen and a built-in bath. But, I don't know. Let's go to our other plot. See what's going on over there. Okay, that room came to life. Very nice. Let's see. What do we got? Any stone bricks? No. Sapwood planks? Sort of. Alright, perfect. And then, need some more stone bricks. Very, very cool. Swept back over. Load. I think I'm probably going to rename the slot names, but for now, they can stay their names. There we go. Grab those. Grab those. Um, let's put... Yeah, another round of stone. Why not? It's fine. We got our leather. Very good. We got our sapwood planks. Uh, we're kind of out of the sapwood. So we're going to need to do something about that pretty quick. Got a couple of light bulbs. Definitely into that. Boop. And then let's put some stuff away. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, these can go... I'm um, keeping the prize wheel coin. I guess I'll put the seeds away and the eggs away and the valley sunrise vase away. But I'm keeping my flowers. I feel like I have more flower seeds. I have a ton of gardenia flowers, which is what's around our um, fountains. But I feel like I need something else. Maybe I'll, maybe I will add the mixed hydrangea seeds. I think maybe that'll add some color, and then some rose flower seeds. Okay, yeah, that could work. So if I do like. One, two, three, maybe? 
And then the other side as well. One. Uh, two. And I'll probably move these once they're fully grown and I can see them better. But for now, this should be okay. I'm gonna need one more rose seed, so I'll probably have to go get it um, from the, um, what you call it, uh, gazebo. Boop, just like that. Uh, keep making star ones. I'm not using star. What? Okay. Let me grill them real quick and I'll send. Do you have all you need? Four more. Wait, three. Never mind. I made a star one on accident, so I can't send it. One more on request. Keeps making star ones. Uh, what is happening? Oh, grilled oyster. Uh, yeah, I've got my my grill somewhere. I remembered where it was. One raw I would need. Yes, what, what is happening? I don't know what's going on in the chat. I don't have any raw ones. Nobody's looking for anything. Okay. I don't know what's happening. The chat was talking about people needing stuff, and I wanted to help, but apparently they don't actually need us, so. It's fine. Doesn't let me. It made a regular one. I can send it. Okay, cool. Super cool. Uh, I was planting flowers, and I got distracted, but it's fine. Alright, number five is a rose for here and a rose for here. I think I actually did put it on the same side except for maybe this. I think this one is different on both sides. That's okay. Let's water the flowers. I like helping people in this game. Um, it seems less and less often that I can actually help people. I think I just kind of miss when people are requesting things. More so than uh, people just not requesting things. Plus, a lot of newbies are trying to get caught up on the requests because um, it's for a quest early on. So, Also, that fountain has a frog. This fountain... Has nothing. That's sad. Why does only one fountain have a little frog in it? I deserve all the frogs. Alright. We have our apples. I'm gonna pull the weeds because my brain tells me that the weeds will make them less harvestable. I don't know if that's actually true. But I don't want to risk it, so... Trying to make sure we have no weeds left. Perfect. All right, harvest. Got 24. Plus another 24. Plus another 24. Gardening is level 28. Of course it is. All right. 24 per thing. It's a pretty good amount. Now we do already have the um, the fertilizer down, so we don't necessarily need to do it again. But I don't know how many times apple trees are harvestable. I want to say it's three times. So we may need to put down some more fertilizer anyway. Just not right the second. We've got time. We have actually we have like an hour. So it's fine. Um, that's the thing is that the turnover time is 6 a.m. in game. Which is about the 15 minute mark past the hour. So about 15 past the hour. Um, so we have plenty of time, of course, to redo everything, so. Can you put flowers on this? No. Can I put flowers, like, on top of it, though? No, I can't jump on these. I can jump on this, though. That'll help me. 
Well, I probably can't put the seed on there. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, if I can put a dish up there, I can put flowers up there. Okay, I cannot put anything on top of this. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to see. Alright, we still have some lamps to go. Because we still have some, uh... Still have some light bulbs to go, too. Okay, let's see. My hand, it wouldn't crack. Alright, let's go for... Our final... And these stone pillars are the ones that she was using on the thing to have the little lamps on top of. Very cool. I may do that near our gazebo, but I don't know if I want to use stone ones. So, maybe the iron ones, maybe the copper ones. Is there a wood one? Oh, there is a wood one. I could use the wood ones and make the, um, they wouldn't quite fit with the, the lights that we have, though. Sorry, I was moving my foot. Um, because if I put the lights that we have on it, it probably wouldn't go. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a reed planter. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, the couch. That's what we're actually here to make. Hooray! Dragon Tide furniture is done. Dragon Tide crafting master. And we used, like, all of our focus to be able to do all that. Very cool. I probably won't use any of it. And that's kind of the thing, is that they give you so many different options for furniture sets and things like that, and you get an achievement for making them, but I myself will probably never use them. Like, I, I have pretty much every furniture you can craft, or at least every furniture set you can craft, and yet I'm probably using, like, half of one <laughs> pieces from another. Like, I'm not using entire sets, so... We did get all the friendship things, which is very cool. Oh, I didn't show you all the relationship things. Hang on. All right, decor crafting. Craft 500 decor items. I've crafted 438, which is very cool. But the ultimate title is for a thousand of them, so I got a ways to go. Let's see. Really? Chop down and loot 1,500 trees. Apparently I've done a thousand. I just haven't. I've caught more fish than I've made decor. That doesn't sound right. Weed whacker we did, because it was a thousand weeds, of course. Let's see. And then, of course, I still need to do quality cabbage and quality bok choy, because I've almost never planted those. Uh, and carrots and onions, for some reason. I somehow missed the last, like, ten that I needed to do. Let's see. Moonstruck we finished. Dragon Tide, Bellflower, Capital Chic, Ravenwood, Industrial, Ranch House, Killima, homestead, and log cabin. And I haven't gained 500,000 focus from eating. That's fine. I did, however, finish all the uh, Polya Chef quests, or Polya Chef achievements, which is nice. And I got the All the Stars in the Ground. Now, the thing I am missing from these is the high-quality ones, because I think you can only decorate with the high-quality ones. But I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. I also have never gotten a high quality of the top choppa tail, so the white choppa's choppa tail, a high quality proud horn antler, or a high quality mujin mane uh, from the, I think it's the proud horn mujin mane. No, it's proud, proud mane, maybe? I don't remember. But I've never got that. And I haven't finished the makeshift set. Uh, what I really want is this clothing line. But that might be a ways off. And then there's like a, a tree house. I kind of wanted that, but no dice so far. Um, this this would have been cool, the little umbrella. But there's a whole lot of these that I don't have. And I think there's even like a wallpaper and a flooring. So I'm looking forward to continue catching waterlogged chests <laughs> in the ocean. Uh, of course, I haven't finished the master fishing or even the regular fishing. That's going to take me forever. Nor with bugs. Um, which is kind of funny because there was two pieces of decor in the Tish place uh, that had the achievement for catching all the bugs and catching all the fish. And I 
don't see Tish being able to do that. Somehow I'm missing a praying mantis and a butterfly. Um, and then from the high quality, I'm missing a bunch. <laughs> so we still have a ways to go with those. Let's see. Aggressively generous. Ugh, that's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be aggressively generous. Okay, let's see. Get more renown. Easy. Get more money. Uh, less easy. That's fine. Okay. I think I've got everything done here. We can do some actual gaming. Granted, I was just trying to make decor today. Eh, we'll do both. Alright. One lamp coming up. Do, 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 do. Spring fever. Oh, there goes my focus. Now, I definitely have more, uh, or my food makes more focus than I actually need. But I like having the extra because I like not being able to, or I like just having to go, okay, I just want to eat this, and it's done. And I have all the focus I need. I don't want to have to, like, guesstimate, do I have to make, like, three of these or four of these? Nah, just eat one thing and it's full. Um. Are you straight? Yes, perfect. All right. So we finished the front yard, I think, uh, in the sense that we finished the walkway. What I might do is I might move them to where they start at the very front. But if I do that, then they'll have to end at the very end. So I'm not sure. I could also just put lights outside the little thing here. Um, I wish I could change my mailbox to kind of match something else, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make enough of the white picket fence. So that's the other thing that I wanted to do, is I wanted to see exactly how much it would take to make the white fence and the white gate. Because it takes hardwood planks, or heartwood planks, and... 20 picket fences is 20 heartwood planks. So, I've got a ways to go. Grab these. Um, I'm gonna need probably a lot more heartwood. Unfortunately. But that's okay. While we're waiting on those to finish doing their thing, I'm gonna make sure that all of the stuff is watered that needs to be watered. Um, the only things in here that need to be watered is stuff that's not quite fully grown, and I think it all is for now. Anyone bought the Wooded Grove landscape? No, I have not. This is very sparse looking. I do like that flower right there. And that's kind of the thing, is I wanted to have a spot where I had all of the flowers, so that if I needed to make more, I could. Hi! How are you? Welcome in. We're playing Palia. I know, surprising. We've decorated so much since the last time you saw my house. And also I caught all these bugs. And all these fish. Because I could. Oh my god! <laughs> that actually kind of startled me because it was really loud in my headphones. Oh no! That one didn't startle me, I'm sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> it's because I wasn't paying attention. I was so amused by my uh fish here and i was like trying to focus on like trying to get real zoomed in so you could see the marlin and then it didn't work look at that guy he's a bug and not a um fish but he ended up in the fish section i know i'm the worst how could i let's put him up there let's grab this kid Put him with his friends. Or something. Shakeda! You can go there. It's fine. No, I'm not going to line them up. Deal with it. I got a tuna. He's looking at me. He's looking at you. He's looking at me. He's looking at you. He's looking at both of us. Look at this guy. He's just looking. He just be looking. He's looking at you, looking at that button. So is the little guy up top. 
Sam, he's also looking at you. I like that their eyeball follows the camera. <laughs> That's very amusing to me, actually. Okay. I'm done. I amused myself. So many fish. Oh, look, another one. It's looking at me. Look at me, look at you, look at me, look at you. Looking at you. So many fish. I have caught so many. I am very good at catching fish. I'm actually very terrible at catching fish. That was a lie, and I do apologize for it. This is my staircase to heaven. It goes nowhere. That's what I do with it. Actually, I was using it to get up there, because I wanted to put something up there that would cause a big light, and it didn't work. It only causes a small light, so. Uh, did I put this out here? I don't recall putting this out here. Did I put this out here? I have no idea. It's hanging off of nothing. So I feel like I didn't put it out here, but... It's here, so I must have. I think it's glitched. I, th I think maybe that item is glitched, and we're just going to pretend we didn't see it, because I don't know what to do with it. All right. All of those are still good. That's still good. I think there was something else we were going to make for in here. But I don't remember what it was. A whale. A whale. I don't know. It was something. I don't remember what it was. Couldn't have been important if I don't remember. Right? Probably. Who knows? Are we done with any more? Yes. Seven more. Okay. To the other plot. Oops. Wrong button. This button. Boop. Boop. Ta-da! New house. Very fancy. Alright, let's run over here. Wait, did I grab any of my stone bricks? Yeah. Very good. Alright, that's gonna grow. This is going to also grow. Heck yeah. The more I look at this, the more I like it. I think I will end up changing to this basic house. Um, I think my main issue is just how far back it goes because I'm going to need to put it in the exact place where my current one is. Um, and I don't know if I can just abandon these rooms, but since they won't have anything in them, I should be able to just put them in my storage. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up switching the rooms. I just have to be very careful about it. Alright, let's get everything built first, because if it's already built, I don't have to wait for it to be built later. Alright. As for the upstairs, we didn't look in the upstairs in Tisha's house, so I'm not sure what she did with hers. But I can do something up here. I don't know what. Um, I'm thinking maybe, like, Quiet Nook or something. I wish I could put a fireplace here, but it wouldn't really make sense for there to be a fireplace here. So I'm thinking if I can get my hands on like the aquarium or something, I could put that up here. I think that'd be pretty cool and have it be like a little sitting area that like is diagonal around it. So I can probably do something with that. I just don't know what yet. Nope. I probably won't end up leaving this here. Uh, what I may end up doing is having this be the foyer have the living room coming off of it and have it attached to the living room and basically turning the entrance from the other house into uh, either the room that leads outside or having it be something else. Let's go back to our original so I can kind of walk you through it. So if I take this one and I turn it around, basically, um, where the fireplace is on the front here. What I may end up doing is having the harvest house attached to the big house if I can and have that be the living room. If I can't, what I may end up doing is I may end up um, 
just making a large room with the same layout that we already have and figuring out what to do about the one window instead. So. Because the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking, yeah, it would be nice to have the two-story house. Um, it is a lot bigger, and I don't think it will feel as cozy. But I don't. I also don't quite know what to do with the open foyer, so I'll have to think about it. Because I'm, I'm going to have different rooms coming off of it. I definitely still want to have this kind of like big entryway where we're able to just step through. Um, I was still debating on having a large room as this room, but I think our dining room works best as it is, so we may keep it. Um, I'm not sure. Because I think originally we decided that if we were ever going to move this, we would just stick it on the small room here. So that may be a way that we can put the harvest house um, as a back door instead of a front door and have it lead into the garden with this front porch. I just don't know if that's possible yet. We'll see. And then once that's done, of course, we can put this coming off another room. Um, what I'll probably do is stick this on the back of the house and have two rooms coming off of it with like a bathroom in between them. So like a Jack and Jill bathroom. And then this will still be our master bedroom with the attached room and the attached bathroom. So it'll still be laid out similarly, but this part will be on the back instead of on the side. Um, so the hallway section would lead into our room here. What I might do is I might put a second hallway section. That'd be a long hallway. We'll see. We'll see. Because I still don't know what to do with this. But if I have multiple bedrooms coming off it, it's a little bit easier. Two stories has unlocked multiple possibilities. And if I'm able to use the other harvest house as our back door exit, I'm definitely going to take this porch away because I think that stone leading into this stone will look a lot better. The only problem is uh, it might be a little too wide. So this stone may be too wide for this section right here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I also can't quite move it with stuff attached to it. So I am going to have to wait until everything is finished building in the other section so that I can try to replace this middle piece. So I also don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it can attach to uh, the other one. It may not be able to. And if it can't, then I'll just have to get another large room, which means I need... The money. Which is why we're making apple preserves. And so, we've come full circle with our design plans. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Seven stacks. I should put them away. Well, no. I could always stick them in here. Because this thing can make uh, three stacks of jam. Oh, wait. I can't because it's... Just kidding. That was silly of me. I shouldn't have done this. I should have used the seven one. It's alright. It'll just start a second stack. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Good. Fine. I have to wait till they're all done, basically, before I can start another stack, so. And I'll still need enough left over that I can make um, seeds out of them. Because I've, I've only got one more round of apple seeds that I can do. So while that's doing its thing, uh, we're also going to need more mushrooms. So we're going to go look for those while we collect heartwood. And do our best. Now really, we would only put the, um, the white fence probably in the front yard. I don't think I would use it necessarily for the backyard. But we'll see. I kind of want the entire plot to have a cohesive thing to it. 
Um, but for right now, I need to figure out where to put all of my crafters. Um, and I may need to buy more Ritz so I can have more cra crafters. Almost said crackers. But we'll see. We'll see. I need... Nope. I need this one. I need to cut down some, ooh, some trees. Oh, I should have made flares. Ah, oh, that's what I should have made. Boop. Alright, we hit that tree. I don't know if it'll count if anybody else comes to chop it down, but I'm gonna chop some stuff in the area and then we're gonna go ahead and announce it. Um, oh, there went a magic Mugen. Very cool. Boop, 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 boop. Very nice. The only reason I'm chopping down the other trees is because that's what we're here for. So if nobody does come, then I don't have to worry too much about it. Alright, so this is a flow tree, so FT. And we are in B3. T in B3. Against the wall. Boop. And then unfortunately I don't have any flow air or flares, so I just have this one. One thing. Turn that lee. Maybe somebody will come, maybe they won't, but we'll see. That's what I said. By outskirts gate to port. That's what I said. So they're describing the same flow tree. But I called it in B3 against the wall. And they called it by outskirts gate to plot. It's fine. <laughs> I said M. I didn't mean to say M, but that's what I said. I think technically we could take this tree down by ourselves, but I'd like to give other people a chance to come by and get it. That's why I'm trying not to steal it for myself. Oh, maybe we can't get it by ourselves. Oh well. If we're unable to get it and nobody comes, then we'll just leave and go get uh, heartwood. Because that's what we're really here for. So, it would just be cool to get heartwood and flow wood at the same time. Yeah, no, unfortunately it heals faster than we can... Uh, swing our axe. So, it really just takes two people. I am messing this tree up. We're just being so mean to this tree. Alright. I don't see anyone else nearby. So I guess somebody was at the zone line, called it, and then ran. And didn't stick around to help. Oh well. We could ask for help. That's the other thing, is we could be like, hey, can anyone help us with this flow tree? But I don't know how many people would be willing to. So everybody's doing their own thing. That is a okay. Ooh, a garnet. That is a nice stone. And also a Steven Universe character. We don't gotta talk about that. There's also polyum over here. Boop. 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 Um, I guess it's kind of a small polyum. Now we've essentially called out both. So, if anybody happens by, maybe they can help us with both. Whoa. Uh. Bye, bye buddy. 
That was creepy. Now, of course, if I had flares, I would send one up so that people could come find the stuff. But I don't. So. Oh, well. We're here for Heartwood. Wow. We are not here for all these Mujins. What is going on? 128. That's actually not as much as I thought we had already. Oh, well. Chop trees. Nice. And my way, stuttery. I love that the uh, glitchy Mujin is getting in my way. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know who they're thanking, so I'm just gonna say you're nothing. Alright, 160. 180? Heck yes. Um. Maybe they were hunting something. I don't know what, but something. Alright, 200. 16. Very nice. How did we end up at exactly 200? Oh well. Not questioning that. For now. Oh, there goes the magic one. I'm not here for him. I don't think cutting all the trees down in this area is going to help people if they're looking for that, so... Sorry, I don't mean to be in the way. I mean to be in the way a little bit, but like, not a lot. Where is it? Wait, where did they go? Oh, they're talking to Tish. Or not Tish, uh... What is her name? Tamala. Jeez, how did I forget her name? Whee! Boop. Thanks. High quality sweet leaf. Sixteen. Two ninety. Alright. If you don't know how your Did you craft a potion of invisibility? Me. Nope. Hmm, you are a strapping young thing, aren't you? Tell me, how do you stay so fit? Uh, carpentry. Strong and useful around the house. I do have quite a few repairs that have piled up. Your company will be missed. I like how she flirts by, like, tapping her face. I don't know how that's supposed to be as flirtatious as she thinks it is. But she may or may not be a 300-year-old witch. So, you know seem weirder. All right, ignoring the Bahari Bee. That's not what I'm here for. I'm actually here for mushrooms and heartwood, but uh, so far we found uh, when, when mushroom. It's not going to help us. We need like 120 of those things. And I don't necessarily want to buy them because we are trying to save up um, in case we have to buy another large room. But may have to just suck it up. Also, there's a flow tree. Clap. That one we might be able to take out on our own. But for now, we're just gonna smack it and go. Um, positive I have one of you. But catching it anyway. Hey, bug catching's now level 15. I think it has to be 20 for the um, the thing. But also, these guys drop uh, plushies, so might as well try. If I remember to try to catch them. <laughs> That's one of the things that I have to remember is like I have to remember to catch the bugs and not just run past them. Oh, also we're supposed to talk to the gardener. And I forgot. Boop. Very nice. Paper lantern bug. I see you. Very nice. Nettle flowers. I don't really need nettle flowers. It's up there. Oh, right. It's leading me to the entrance. It's like, where is it taking me? To where I need to go to talk to the gardener. 
I mean, his name is the gardener, and we're encouraging him to grow trees for some reason. Oh, magic Mugen. Hmm. I really don't need any magic weasels right now. If you could just not come near me, that would be super cool. It's kind of funny, because when I am hunting for him, he's nowhere to be found. I spend forever just trying to get a glimpse of him. But then when I'm not looking for him, he's in, like, every other tree. <laughs> so clearly the way to find him when I am looking for him is to just look in every possible tree. Good to know. My hair is, like, trying to fall into my face. I'm not that emo, so I'm trying to get it out of my face. The flowstone to the gate hub. Uh, garden door, factory floor, gardener. I don't know why it has us appear facing a wall. Also, that's a flow tree. I want it. I want it. Hey, gardener. That was actually actively fascinating. Yes. Yes, I think I would like to try gardening. I admit, human, I had my doubts, but I can already feel the gears turning. Making seeds, watching them grow, I feel like a, I feel a joy akin to seeing a newly minted Galdur take their first step. Perhaps you are right, that the oneness is not an innate, immutable trait. Sometimes change can be good, you need to reinterpret it. Told you so. You're admitting I'm right? You just needed to reinterpret it. I suppose all I needed was to reframe my perspective. That's what I said. I have learned much from you, human, and I presume there will be more to learn in the future. But for now, I have ideas. Ideas for seeds. Some you may have seen before. Some you may not have... have some you may have never even imagined. I will now end this transmission and start up my research facility. There is one last thing I must tell you. Thank you. Oh, we got a tree! Temple of the Roots tree. Heck yes! Run that by me again. I don't know what he said. But he said we were right, and that's the important part. To the entrance. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. My inventory is full. Oh no. It's full of lies. So it's not full yet. There's no way it can be full. Excuse me. Uh. Okay. Rude, first of all. Gotcha. Mm, I'm trying to only grab the larger trees because when we start clear cutting the area, it's gonna cause more flow trees to spawn. And I don't necessarily want them to be teeny tiny ones for other people. So, we're trying to be nice. Um, hmm. Not seeing what I need. I am finding iron, though. Quack. I'm not sure how my exquisite pickaxe takes three hits to take these out. Seems like a lot. For something that's only giving me three iron. Alright. Get back out our axe. Oh, magic deer. Those also produce plushes. But we already have the magic deer one. We just don't have the regular one. We don't have the regular or the elder or the special one that was out at the time. Oh. Neat! <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to chase that down, but apparently not. We, uh... We helped, I guess. Oops. Wow, that, uh, did not go right. Excuse me? What is happening? Thank you. Jeez. It was, like, not letting me hit it. 
All right, what can I get rid of? Uh, pine cones. Buy pine cones. I don't need you. Boop. Meat and hide. That's fine. Not what I'm after, but not the worst, I guess. Another one. Somehow they didn't startle the deer. Uh, slow down arrow. Oh. Okay, somebody came through here and hit everything once. The only thing I can think of. Either that or no, that's all I can think of. Because it it died real fast. Those things are supposed to take um like two or three, and they didn't. They took just one. Oops. There we go. And then this guy. Oops. Wow, I am not very good at throwing. You're high quality. I'm catching you. Stuff that. There we go. I don't know if I've ever caught a high quality one of these, but in case I haven't, I'm grabbing one. Uh, what else can I sacrifice? These. To buy a weed. Boop. Harry millipede. Very nice. I know I've gotten a high quality of the moths. I may have gotten a high quality millipede now that I think about it. What I was actually here for was wood and mushrooms and yeah, that's not going well. I mean, it's going fine. I've got plenty of wood now. Um, I can make planks out of it. That'd be great. But I am not in the realm I need to be for uh, the mushrooms. Got it. See, the slowdown ones don't do as much damage, uh, so it takes like four, three or four shots. But they do make them slow enough to catch, so that works. Um, what does that say? Wanna be black cat. Oh, nice. That's a cute name. Ooh, mushroom. Mushroom. Sweet leaf. Another mushroom. We'll at least wander out of here with like four or five mushrooms, so that's good. Oops. No wrong thing. Let me try to shoot the bug with an arrow. That'll surely get me what I need. I'm hoping that by catching the little green bugs as we go along, we'll just luck our way into a plushie. Which is kind of what happened with the Cernuk plush that we got. But they've got such a low drop rate that I'm not holding my breath. Just shooting in their direction and hoping it works. Uh, oh, he is long gone. Should have shot more, I guess. Uh, ugh, okay, well. Well. What? Hey, excuse the heck out of me? How did you dodge the first one, first of all? Because that should not have happened. He shouldn't have been able to get free of the first one, so he had to have dodged it in the sense that I somehow missed. Um, but also, I forgot that I had so many more um, things to catch bugs with, and I didn't need to use that. I could have just hit the button again. Alright, we got that one. I think he was one of the two from earlier. Maybe. And then... I don't see the other one. Well, if we leave the area, we definitely won't get credit for the kill if it happens. But I don't see him anywhere. So I'm trying to do just a little, little loop. -de -loop. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be. I thought I was in a different part of the area. 
I thought I was over here, but apparently I'm not. Whoops. Oh, that sounded close. Where was that? Was it over here? Uh, that funky sound that you all may, not, may or may not have heard was the grove forming, in case you're not familiar with it. So I am... I think I'm gonna help other people find the grove. And chop it down. Nice. Paper lantern bugs. I don't think the snails have a plushie, so I'm not super worried about those. But it would be cool if we could find one of the paper lantern ones. Uh, I don't remember if these guys have one. I'm gonna be so for real. I literally don't remember. Oh, it said something. Uh, ooh, I think I need stone. I don't need the plant fiber, though. Those can go. Grove at outskirts. Heck yeah. Basically, we're going to try to hunt our way over there, um, if we can. If not, I'm not going to fret about it. Uh... Wow, he got a lot faster when he got out of range. It's okay. Maybe, just maybe, somebody else will take him out and we'll still get credit and we'll be able to, to loot him. But if not, you know, no worries. All right, we usually only have until 3 a.m. Some people chop early, so I am trying to make my way over there. And then hopefully I'm going the right way. Is there only three trees? Okay. Scarlet Ember Mulvaney. Four trees. Okay. Did somebody chop one? Or anyone want to cook with you? Uh... I mean, yes, but also no. Collect forages, heck yes. And I can see our destination in the distance. Even better. Whee. That seems not as high up as I would have thought. Maybe for one more person. Uh, no, let me up, come on. It's not me you're waiting for, but it is me you're waiting for. You don't know it, but it is me you're waiting for. Flip. Um. Okay, I got one of the trees. There's two tree. Tree. Three tree. Um. Where's tree number four? There's tree number four. Nice. And we'll come back in a second. Any grove parties got space by chance? Because, like, if we get in a party, we have a chance for the new drops. So, maybe somebody will invite us. Maybe somebody will be nice to us. Be a friend. Come on, somebody, be a friend. sent me a friend request, but you didn't send me a party request. Yes. Maybe that'll help? I swear I'm not in a party. Who's here? So we're good when Yuki gets here. This person sent me a friend request, but not a party request. We good to go. They sent me a friend request, but not a party request. Send me a party request, please. No? 
Okay, I'll just cry. Hmm. That's fine. So, parties, of course, have a new feature where you have a chance to get new drops. Um, but I don't know what that counts for. So I don't know if that counts for, like, uh, chopping trees like this, or if it's cooking, or if it's bug catching, or if it's just any possible thing. Yes. Four. Okay. I don't know how many or how many people we're waiting on, or if we're going to continue waiting, or if we're going to just start chopping. This person is ready, but are you waiting on anyone else? I'm just gonna put my looking for party thingy. Okay, well, if this person says it's chopping time, that's you know, not always true. Okay, ten, very nice. Do, 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 do. You didn't send me a party invite, you noodle. Heartwood. Alright, where's the next one? Here it is. Woohoo, got a swing. And I got 30 foraging medals. Heck, yes. Chop magical trees, 30. Yes, thanks all. Okay, we're gonna have to equip one of our uh, pins, I think. So that we can loot this. <laughs> Woohoo! There's one there too. Yes! We're coming, Freya. We're coming with you. And we're grabbing Sweet Leaf along the way. This one is the one we chopped earlier. So. Come here, y'all. Let's go. Oh, that person teleported. And there's one more. And two more. Two more. Come on, y'all. Hold on. Don't chop it yet. Wait. Hold on. Alright. Everybody get a swing in? I hope so. Alright. Ready. Let's chop this thing. Come on. Get in here. Alright. Woohoo! The one from earlier got chopped. And there was another one over here. I think. I think, I think. Oh, I think this one got chopped and we didn't get credit for it. Interesting. Oh. Oh, there he is. Come on, Ember, let's go. I'm gonna get him with me. I'll do it. I'll go for it. Oh! This full tree got chopped. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed that I friended you instead of inviting you to the party. It's alright. I don't know if I have a high quality one of these guys. Let's see. Uh, it didn't get a high quality, so it can go. Oop. I got a leaf stalker. Very nice. What I uh, didn't get was this Sarnuk or this. Oop. I don't know where the disco deer is, and I don't know if our um, shot earlier was close enough to him. Actually, yeah. Dang it. Well, now we know we've shot him. So. Oh. Oh. Did he go down? No way. Oh, snap. He did go down. Woo! Alright. Plus, there's a. Oh, hello. Plus, there's a volume here. You don't have to hit it with me, bud. <laughs> it's okay. Hooray! We got some polyam while we're out here, too. Nice! This has been a productive day. 
I'm doing quite a few things. I actually didn't think that we were going to get anything of significance, but we managed to take down the Disco Deer because we could. Uh, we managed to catch quite a few bugs and grab a decent amount of mushrooms. We got... Oh, that one's high quality. Ooh, I don't need the high qualities. I just need the regular. We managed to get plenty of sweet leaf, um, heartwood while we were out here. We got flow wood. We got all kinds of stuff. Nice. I'd say that was a good, productive haul. Oh, I think that was about to despawn. So, we got it. Just in time. High quality, very nice. High quality times two, even better. And I think that's everything we needed from here. So, back to our plot we go. We've still got a little bit before it's the next 15 minute window, which is the next time our... Uh, trees will be mess withable. Not really harvestable because it's going to take a couple more cycles, but it's okay. Every time I move, my hair just goes whoop right back into my eyeball. You don't know what's going on? Apparently, I'm going back into my emo phase and I just didn't know. Hey, our flowers sprouted while we were out here. Uh. You know, I thought I was going to like them better. Kind of thinking that I need just more roses. And just have like two or three roses together so they're as big as the gardenias. I like the multicolored hydrangeas, don't get me wrong. But they don't... they don't go. So I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to need to do something about that. Uh, let's go ahead and water them while we can. Hello, thank you. Did we miss a cycle? I don't think we did. Shoot, I better go check. Did I miss a cycle? No, okay. I thought we had missed a cycle of the trees because these were uh, grown and needing watering. But nope, we are good on that front. The most disappointing thing is the fact that you can't replenish your watering can at the fountain. You do have to go to, like, the lake off in the corner, or this little lake over here. Watering can empty. Oh no, desperately need blueberries if anyone has some to spare. Do I? I don't know. Request them. Yeah, to put up for request, please. Uh. Nope, I don't have regular. I only have... Here, you can have an acorn. Uh, I only have the high quality ones, unfortunately. I did. Unfortunately, I've only got the high quality, so I can't help her. That's okay. I'm, sur I'm sure somebody else will be able to help her. Them, I should say. We don't know if it's a her. Uh, nettle flowers. We're just putting everything away, basically. Boop Nice. And we'll put those away too. Why not? Let's put these in this section. And then I'm gonna put the Temple of Roots tree with him. Uh, number eight. Ooh. Yeah, he should definitely be like right with it. Like that should be a whole piece but it doesn't let me put him on it it just makes him look like he's a part of it so that's fine i guess all right leave that gold ore interesting Love. and as you can see we managed to pass the night away but we didn't play any more hot pot so that's kind of the thing is there's so many different tasks you could do that if you decided, oh, I want to just play Hot Pot, then you would wait once an hour, you could play it for a little window, and then once it was done, it was done. Oh, I'm that low on sapwood? Ooh. Didn't realize that I was that low. That's okay. It's fine. That's going to make our heartwood planks, which we need. That's going to keep making light bulbs, which we need. And I think, 
Um, I think what we need for the front entrance is I may go ahead and put the in stuff in it. I don't know for sure if I'm going to make the entrance into like an actual foyer. Um, but I'm thinking of putting all the Killima inset stuff in it. So we'll see. We'll see. It's probably going to be a work in progress for a while. Um, I mean, we have until they, they open up the thing, so it's fine. I do want to get the square tub that we saw and do like a replica hot, uh, replica, uh, hot tub experience. Um, but I don't know if I want to copy it too much. So I'm trying not to to make it too close. Did I not grab them? Oh, I didn't. I didn't grab the light bulbs. It's like, why can't I only make one of these? What is happening? There we go. I'll make four. And then dye them purple. Yeah, furniture making is now level 29. That's our highest level thing right now, I think. Yeah, by like leaps and bounds. <laughs> Um, it's level 29. Gardening is very quickly catching up at 28. Somehow, some way, cooking's only 13. I don't know how that happened. Mining's almost level 20. We still got a ways to go. Uh, bug catching, we finally got to 15. Hunting, I've got to 19, which is cool. Fishing is the lowest at 11. We've got a lot ahead of us if we're actually going to get that aquarium. Um, because it does have to be at level 20. So, we got a lot of fishing to do. Let's see, catch 30 fish, catch star quality, and catch fish together. That's the hardest one for me. Nobody ever wants to fish together. That's okay. Also, we're taking our romance pen back off. Yes. Sorry, Tamala. You'll be fine. Oh, apparently I have a fishing attachment. I didn't know. Alright. I have... Ten more left. Okay. Very... A berry. 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 I have enough to do one more. So, so far so good. I probably shouldn't put these out until we know exactly what we're going to do. But, you know, if I fall in love with the design with them out, maybe I won't change my mind. Oop. See, I want to put it here, but they're almost too far apart that way. That works. Alright, number six. Do I have them mostly lined up? I did in the beginning, sort of. Not really. I should line them up, I think. Instead of putting them, like, by the stuff. <laughs> I should probably line them up a little better. But they're just meant to light your way. Like, they're not really meant to be right on top of each other or anything. Let's turn these on. Yeah. It's becoming daylight, so we're gonna run out of the ability to see these as easily. Yep. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make more of these um, fairy lights or spring lights or whatever you want to call them. So that the gazebo has a second set right here. So at least one more set. And then put two more lamps. And then two more lamps. So I only need four more, which isn't bad. If the um, harvest house is usable as a back door, then I may need less because the thing is a little bit longer, so I can always cut it down by like one or two. So that could work. And I did debate on taking one of these pavers and trying to put like a big one underneath this. Because I think having a circular stone slab under it would be better. I just don't remember if I had any more or if we used them all. I think we used them all. Um, was it considered a decor? I think it was. Stone... I can't remember if it was stone slab paver, round stone, something. Now I do have a small one, but I want the medium one. Um... There's the square concrete paver. Ah, round concrete paver. Let's grab them all. Why not? Do, 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 
If Tish can use a square one, I can use a round one. Oh yeah, that'll work. Except I need a big one. Okay, is that big enough? I think it is. Let's find out. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Right in the center. Does it work? No, because I can't see it. Hmm. Is there an even bigger one? I actually don't know. That seems to be the biggest one. I guess I could use it to elevate the thing. Like, make it a stack of these and then put it on top of them. Well, that looks bigger than the others. Is it? The same size? I think it's bigger. I think it's the same size, actually. It's just rotated. And then stick it on top. Wait, I can't stick it on top of there? Okay. So... I can stack these, I just can't put it on top of them. Is this one bigger? No. They look to be the same size. Can I put it on a stack of three? No. How about a stack of two? No. I can only put it on a single one. Okay. So, it doesn't actually work the way that I wanted it to. So we'll just, uh... put you back. You're fine. You're fine as you are. Uh, what I may do is I may put like little lights around it maybe. Something. I need it. I need it to be some kind of way. Um, what I could do is I could decorate with the stone. Come here, you. I could decorate with the stone and do like this and then... I need the little bitty ones. Nope. Nope. Is that the smallest one I can do? Not like this. Um, am I in the way? Or is... What is, what is happening right now? Nope. Little ones only. Uh, I don't know if I'm in the way anytime it won't let me put it down. Oh, uh, why is it not? Maybe if I angle it. Why is it not letting me put it next to those? Because I'm trying to make like a little circle, but it's not letting me. And I don't know why. It's letting me on some sides, but that's not a circle. Why is this one out of place? Is it because this one was out of place? It's supposed to be a little bit over? Why is this happening to me? Okay, I'm going to stand on this one, because that may help. Alright, I'm going to put one here. Uh, put one there. Maybe angle it like this. Okay, I have to go that far out to get it to sit there. That doesn't make any sense. That is definitely not the shape I wanted. What is happening? Why is it not... Why is it not forming a circle around the circle? I don't understand. Yeah, no. I hate it. Hate it. Gross. Goodbye. I want to put some sort of, like, rug out here. But I don't really have any rugs that are big enough, I don't think. So, we're gonna go through our rug collection just to see if maybe we have something. Probably don't, but that's okay. Let's put those away. Back to furniture. Alright, let's see. Um... um, um, um. Gold floor, no. Hmm. Do I actually have any rugs? 
I may not have any rugs. That may be the whole thing. Because we already put down a different flooring, and we knew we could do that. But I don't think I have, like, a rug. I think I've just got the, um... How do I have two of those? Oh, well. I think I've just got, like, the basic stuff. Like, the the makeshift chop -a hide and like stuff like that. I only had another rug. Is it just the one in the house that I have? Is that the only thing? I might put a ceiling fan out there if I can. So we'll grab that. Uh, paper screen. No, no. Might make more of these veggie plots for the front of the house, but we'll see. Um, I have 21. I only have 20. I got 20 of these. Hmm. I've got the snowy and the jolly. That's not what I need. Um. And I was going to try to use the rock edging, but it doesn't let you curve it. So it didn't really work for what I wanted. Uh, the square is the one that she was using in hers. Which I could try to do something similar, but I don't want to copy it. Sunrise base, can't make those. No. Mm. Wood one. Okay. So I do not have any rugs, weirdly enough. Let's go see if I can put a ceiling fan out there. Because that would be the thing that I would want to add everywhere, would be ceiling fans. I don't think I can, though. I don't think I can hang anything from up there. Oh, I can. Ooh. Very nice. I am going to be human powerful. Here. But I have your son at 1% watching some stuff. Just want to let you know I didn't abandon you. Hi, Anna. Welcome in. I am hating that, actually. Where is my... Where's my ladder? I need it. I'm still not sold on the number of lights that I put out. I might... I might make less lights. We'll see. Come here, ladder. That should get me high enough, at least. Boop. Hmm. Maybe if I color it? Is it in the middle? It looks like it's in the middle. It looks from every angle like it's not in the middle. And then it looks like... Because if I grab it, it'll say that it is in the middle. So, that's the whole thing, is it? This is the middle spot. Why was it turning while I was moving it? Been here for a while. Ads are over on MSNBC, though. It's turning you down again. Love your face. Aw, thank you. Thank you for hanging out and lurking. We love a good lurk. Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing that. We're gonna find out if that can be recolored. If it can't be recolored to a color I don't hate, then I may not use it. We may just exist without fans. Um, plus, I'm going to need more mod things for it, but let's see. Yeah, unless I make it autumn or maybe classic, but I think autumn's going to be the best I can do. Um, let's put it away again. It's fine. I'll move the, the ladder in a minute. Ladder. All right, let's check on our other house, just really quick. Are we done with everything? I mean, it looks like it. it says we've got three rooms. All right, I love the front porch. I love the fact that it's, you know, we got the bay windows going. I love the porch. I could put a swing here. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Does this do anything? That wall's still the same. Okay. So everything on this housing plot is done. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Disconnect socks for sockets first. Oh, interesting. Uh, I need the fireplace add-on. And the large room. And the large room. And the bay windows. And the house. So everything's built. All we have to do is place it. Yes. 
Now, the real question is, can I place it in a spot that will allow me to put my everything where it is now? All right, let's try rotating everything just to... Oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay, because everything has uh, stuff in it, this might be incredibly difficult because uh, I can't just pick up this. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to grab so many things. Uh, I'm gonna have to pick up all of the fencing back there, because that may be the only way that we can actually do this. Probably have to pick these up. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's grab all the fencing, because it's just easier that way to clear out as much extra space as we can. And then this is gonna have to go too. Something's in the way, something's in the way. I know. Putting it in here for safekeeping. Uh, I may have to grab all of my bugs and things. Because what I'm probably going to have to do is place the harvest house. And then place a set of the rooms on it. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I may have to clear out this whole section too. <laughs> um, can I not pick this up? Oh, because I have stuff going in it. I was like, why can't I pick that up? Uh, G. Grab these. Pick you up. Um. When that finishes in 45 seconds, pick it up again. That's gonna finish in 40 seconds. Pick it up again. Before it gets started on another one, pick it up. Alright. That'll all finish pretty quick. Um. How much inventory space do I have? Okay, I've got enough space to carry everything that's in it plus it, so that'll work. Uh, ugh. Hopefully we'll be able to do this without having to completely dismantle the room and rebuild it. So, you know, here's hoping. Uh, 16 seconds there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Give me my light bulb. Nope. I'm also going to pick up this log fencing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hush. I wasn't aiming for that. I was aiming for the fencing. Basically, just to give ourselves the best possible chance of having room for everything. Um, I'm also going to put the fencing away because I don't actually want it. And I'm going to put the materials away because I don't need them. I just need our crafting and stuff. Like our smelter, our furnace, all of that. I need that. Alright, you look done. And you look done. Nice. Alright, G. F. Grab. G. Alright. So that cleared us out a little bit of extra space. Hopefully, maybe we can hold everything we need. Uh, I'm going to put the materials away again, or the, the crafted stuff again. Those away. Put this here and this here. I'm going to grab this stuff that's out. Um, just kind of put all this in our pockets. It's fine. I'm also going to grab our frog friend, because otherwise he might get in the way. <laughs> Sorry, Giga Frogbert. You gotta go. And then we're probably going to have to chop down some of this uh, just in anticipation. I'm going to take it out. I know I was growing that tree. I recognize that I planted these here purposefully. We're just going to have to replant them, unfortunately. Um, the game is not kind to us trying to grow new trees. Um... But at least, hey, we got free sap wood. We don't have to go out and clear cut half of Kilima for it. We just need the space, unfortunately, because we're going to have to uh, do it kind of a funky way. I have a feeling we're going to need as much space as humanly possible. So we're going to ignore that for a second. We're decorating. Focus. All right. 
So I'm going to put our Grand Harvest House out here. But I'm going to turn it uh, here. I'm going to grab this small room. Oh, I can't because it's outside of the thing. How in can I make it? That'll work. Okay. Uh, some of our stuff is, of course, going to get put away. That's all right. Um, I am just going to turn this. Okay, so I can put it on this. Now, the only issue is it doesn't connect. So I can't use it as another room, which is a shame. Um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just set this where it'll fit for now. Uh, I'm going to have to build another large room. And I'm going to have to replace the harvest house with a large room, unfortunately. Um, it's not the worst. I could definitely think of worse fates for us. Um, was kind of hoping that I could just keep it as it was and I wasn't going to have to completely redecorate everything. But what I can do is I can move everything that's in it into the grand harvest house um, and just go ahead and take it away until I build another large room. Just basically keeping the back with the large room. Um, the fireplace add-on is going to have to go. So just ripped it out. Uh, we're going to have to go inside and just start putting stuff in places. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Oh, that was not supposed to be open like that, but it's okay. I can change it. I can fix it. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, I'm gonna put all of my crafters in here for now. So, like, number one. We're just setting them, like, in the middle-ish. So they're all kind of together. So that I can move them later. But for now, they'll all be in here. Um, put this in here. This in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. Uh, put that in here. It's fine. Not that I particularly wanted to put this stuff right here, but it'll go here for now. Oh, right. I was up on a couch when I actually put this stuff up here, so... That's exciting. Dang it. Aha! Got it. It's gonna keep yelling at me that it's not valid when it is totally valid. Way too many ad breaks on US television. That is true! Something is in the way. Eh, you're only going there for now. Not a permanent housing for any of this stuff. This is just the best wall that I can put stuff on while I try to finagle the other side. So. And all this stuff will eventually be in a room. Um, but what it won't be is it won't be in the entryway. So I have to replicate the um, front walkway here. And I have to replicate everything we had going in this room, um, which thankfully I can just grab stuff and drag it over. I don't actually have to put it all in my pockets and then unload it again. So. Uh, this stuff I may just go ahead and... Yeah, just, just grab all that. Uh, grab this. Run over with it. It's gonna look like a mess. Dutch TV can't have more than a few minutes every half an hour. Oh. That's kind of what I do on my stream. Alright, I need the... this rug. We're gonna have to set up our living room, um... at a later point, unfortunately. Wait, why? What do you mean something's in the way? Can I not put this here? What is in the way? But there's nothing in the way. It's just on the floor. Can it not go in here? Okay, what about... Oh, why is that like that? What about up here? Can it go up here? Yeah, it'll go up here for now. I probably should have just put it in my pockets. It's okay. Grab the table. Sprint. 
Never understand why prescription meds are advertised. It's the law here. Uh, probably because healthcare is not free in the slightest. And they're trying to get you to buy their specific prescription drug. Because they want your money. Obviously. I should have taken a picture before I did all this. I'm going to completely forget how it was set up. But that's okay. It's quite alright. Uh, the only thing that I need to do is just move everything. Mostly so that I all have, have it all in one room for when we build the, the large room and I can just move everything over. And we can just do a replica of what we had, but with a doorway that leads out to the garden and not just uh, nowhere. So. I'm excited. I'm excited for our two-story house. Uh, I'm definitely less excited for the idea of redoing all of the stuff that I loved. Um, but, you know what, just pick it up, self. What are you doing? Uh, this won't stay. This will end up being a different thing, I think, because... Eh. Eh. I can't do it. All right. So the only way we can pick that up, that house piece up, is if we attach this to the other house. So make sure I've gotten everything else. Um, come here, you. I need a thing to jump on. Ha! Got it. It's the Valley Sunrise Chandelier. I didn't realize that. All right. Isn't that annoying for GPs and specialists when the patients think they need something other than what you're giving them? Yes. Uh, it's not for here either. A doctor gets the info because they actually know about that stuff. Regular people don't have knowledge needed to comprehend. So basically, most of our um, our advertisements that are about medicine are encouraging you to talk to your doctor about. And then the drug companies also give uh, kickbacks and freebies to the doctors so that you can either trial run the medicine or they can just convince you to ask your doctor about it so that that drug becomes more desirable and the doctor goes hmm maybe i will look into that and then they make sales i mean technically you can advertise anything we advertise like law stuff here too so <laughs> But yes, I imagine that it is probably highly obnoxious for general practitioners when they get a uh, a patient coming in being like, No, I need this one. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, uh, we have like radio and television advertisements that'll be like, Were you injured in a wreck or did somebody wrong you somehow? Contact a personal attorney. Personal injury attorney. Um, and they will help you. Blur, blur, blur. It's like, well, that seems a little sus, but, you know, who am I to look a gift lawyer in the mouth? Insane laws when it comes to ads. They're kind of weird. That's fair, honestly. All right, so now for the hard part. I have to move this part of the house. Move this part of the house. And then get rid of this house. Disconnect sockets first. What's still connected to it? There's nothing connected to it. Oh, the bay windows. Yes. Oh, I still had, I had the lamps on the front. I forgot. I thought I grabbed everything. But that's okay. This is our trial run of our new house. Um, I'm actually going to put this room on the back after I move the house a little bit because we have to build another large room here and I don't want to not have the space all right so far so good it's not where it needs to be and everything looks like a mess in this corner over here but I love the tree being like right here so I'm definitely going to put trees at the front door. Um, oh, a lot of things. Need to get rest and go to, get dressed and go to work? Okay, no worries. 
Um, I'm going to continue figuring this all out, I think. <laughs> I'm going to try to figure it out. Uh, okay, so I need to get the money together to buy a large room. I don't have nearly enough, so I'm going to have to sell some things. Uh, we did just pass our last window of being able to sell things, so we'll have to take them to town. Hydrate. Nice. Okay. I don't want to lose anything, so I am going to just stuff things in here real quick, like I was doing before. Uh, where was the stuff I was stuffing? Hey, cool. Um, you know, I was gonna say, oh, I might keep it that way, but I don't know. Nah, because it's turned weird. Uh, I also have to get rid of this porch. So, uh, that'll be the other thing I snag up. The porch. It did get rid of some of the stuff that I had on the walls. That's okay. Because we're gonna put that porch somewhere else. That's why we got rid of it. <laughs> run, run, run. Run, run, run. Okay. We're gonna put it off this way somewhere eventually. Could I have just made this into my living room and then put stuff elsewhere? Yes, but I wanted to be able to use this and I wanted to be able to use that to the fullest and I can't put a fireplace in if I cut off one or the other. So, I need a large room. To do that, I need money. Not a bad thing to need, but not ideal. Because this will only make me a couple hundred. Um, I still have a hundred glowworms, which will make me about eh, make me about two grand. And I'm making more, so I can make eight total from that. What else do I have to sell? Uh, let's put the nap weed away. Let's put that stuff away. Okay. Inventory is no longer super full. Just kind of full. Decor. Okay. Hmm. I don't really have anything that will make me a lot of money really fast, is the problem. Um. Hmm. I could sell some silver. A stack of 10 would make me three grand. Uh, I want to keep my silk. Ooh, those would make me some money. I could sell some silver. That would definitely work. But what if I need it? Oops, I did not mean to be clicking like that. I clicked the wrong button. Alright. So a stack of ten will make me three grand. Um, a stack of worms will make me two and a half so about three um i don't have any gold made right now i don't want to sell anything like that i do have some aquamarines i could sell some of those um so three of those will get me another 1500 not bad not bad oh and it was azure chop a tail um, and what was the Mujin main called? Like blue brisbane? Blue bristle. Nice. Should I wait till 6 a.m.? Probably. Am I going to? Absolutely not. <laughs> we are going to go sell them at Zeki's shop just because we can. Uh, we should be able to get the same price for them. It just, they sell instantly there. And if you put them in your thing to wait, it takes a while before they actually sell. So. We'd have to wait. Oh. Cool. Thought I already achieved that. Um. I, I'm pretty sure I already achieved that. We, we got that. That's how we got the... Oh. Maybe it wasn't. I'm so confused. Did we purchase five slots? 
Because I thought we only purchased enough to get the the gazebo. Unless it was glitched and it wasn't counting as many as we were supposed to have. In which case, terrible. Alright, let's find out how much the large room costs. I think it's 10 grand. Could be 15. Let's find out how much it costs real quick. It is... 12 grand. Ooh. Okay. I need $12,000. I think I'm about to make 15 from what I have with me, but we'll see. Oh, hey, it's the Silver Hair again. I think she's the same person, too. No, nope, that's a different person. Same hair, though. All right, let's sell our pack or our stack of Golo Worms. That puts us at seven. We're halfway there. Um, oh, I hate to part with these, but that's that. That's that. We're at 12.5. Fantastic. I don't remember grabbing the spotted chopper tails, so we're going to leave those alone. Uh, don't really want to use my glow worms up. Let me smoke worms. But we have enough money. It's fine. We have just enough selling so much silver, which took forever to harvest. Because that was 60 silver ore, and um, that only spawns from copper. So, one large room purchased. Now, we can go back to our housing plot, and I don't even have to wait, because I haven't used my teleport yet. And even if I had, it was way earlier. Or it would have been way earlier, so it's fine. Ah, uh, that was very strange. Okay, so it crashed, <laughs> as you can see on the screen. Um, I'm going to restart the game. Um, not sure what happened. Uh, don't love that it happened. We're just typing real fast. Glad I didn't accidentally push the little eyeball so y'all would all see my password. Um, but yeah, that was unexpected. I don't love that. I don't love that at all. Is everything we just did going to be saved or... Because we were trying to go home, so theoretically we should still be in the middle of Kilima. Oh, I wasn't accepted in the server. Why not? No, please don't be down. Please don't tell me they took the game down. Do I have to completely close the game and start it again? Because I'll be upset. Okay, it's loading this time. It's a good sign, right? Uh, I hope. <laughs> I hope that's a good sign. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, that's not supposed to be a thing. Okay, we only have 40 gold left. That's a good sign. What is happening here? Let's just, let's just pick this up. Um. Okay, all right. So far, so good. Uh, these are a large room. Um, we can put our bay windows on the front right here. So that's cool. Instant bay windows. Let's grow this thing. Stone brick. Got it. Oops. Sapwood plank. Don't. Got it. Oh, no. Okay, so we need 30 more sapphire planks. Hey, craft planks. Oh, I... <laughs> I just barely don't have enough wood. That's crazy. That's, that's insane to me. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We can just pop right back out here. Hopefully the game doesn't hate me anymore. And we can just go get some more sapwood. I only need three more. That's the craziest part. I only need three more uh, to make it to 30. So I only need one tree. But we just used the last of our sapwood. So clearly I'm going to need more sapwood. Just... Huh. How did we go from like 50, 60,000 gold to 40 gold in like two streams? How did that happen? That's what I'd like to know. 
I have no idea. But, uh, you know, just, weirder things have happened, I guess. Um, like I said, I love the look of the house with the tree out in front like that. Um, where it had the one tree there, so I'll probably move a tree, or not move a tree, plant a tree right in front of it. So that we've got a tree just right outside the front. Um, and then I want to put, like, a swing on one side of the porch. I want to put, um, like a chair and some tables on the other side. It just depends, because we've got the, um, the bay windows, and those stick out a little more than they do on the Tish Dream House. So, we'll see. We'll see where I can put those. It may all be for naught, because the, um... Hmm. Oh. I did not anticipate not being able to pick this up. What do I have that I can... Oh, I can put an accessory on. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, one more tree, and then we'll then we'll go home. Fantastic. All right, so that got us back up to a hundred and like forty, roughly, almost one hundred and fifty. I guess we need one more. We can for sure have one hundred and fifty. Go. I do like that each of these trees gives me about 10 to 13 if we do the big ones, um, sometimes more. So it does make it very easy to collect a lot of wood very fast. And at some point we need to party up with somebody so that we can try to get the new drops that we just haven't been able to get. I think that's the uh, flower furniture that we saw at Tish's place is the stuff that you get from being at a party. So, looking forward to that. Not looking forward to trying to do it uh, as fast as possible, but it's all right. Somebody will help us. Hopefully. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Put all this stuff away. Um, I think that's everything and then I don't know if the lights can hang off of this portion because we had lights on the front of our house that I completely forgot about um oh they can't go here is it just not like accessible or I can put them like here by the door sort of I can put them here by the door like right there but I don't really need lights there. I could put them up here, where they kind of were before. So, maybe? Because it looks like there's a spot for them. There's like a little thing that sticks out that it would make sense if those were, were things. Also, the fact that there's windows all around the top. Um, kind of love that, actually. I think we could conceivably, if I can get up here, uh, make these into bay windows so they're even bigger. They've even got bay windows. Can I not? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's a crime. That's a crime. The fact that I can't make these top ones into bay windows is a crime. It's fine. It's fine. We'll do something. That's why I want the either the aquarium or the terrarium to put here. Because otherwise, this is just a big wall of nothing. And I don't like that. So, that's gonna be a pain in the butt to fix. That's okay. I already have my home wallpaper, so we can make this into a house. Ha! <laughs> I may change it. I may actually change the wallpaper on the outside of my house. Because. I don't know. I did notice that one of our walls was acting up. Uh, I don't know if that is because of the way that this whole thing is placed, or if it's um, something we fix. All right, that's.
that's all done. This part is not. Look, see, it didn't affect that inside wall. So I think if we change the inside piece... Oh, there's not enough doors that lead me outside. That's okay. In most normal houses, uh, there's not 8,000 doors that lead you outside. So it'll be fine. Uh, but this wall piece was what I was talking about. I should be able to fix something somehow, some way. Because what it is, is it's um, this, which shouldn't be like this. <laughs> and it won't be in the future, but as for right now, it is. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave it alone for now, and whenever I'm able to move that from right there, everything should be a little better. Um, once this is built, we'll move this onto it. And this, of course, will go where it's supposed to. Because it can't go here while that back piece is going. So we'll just leave it where it is for now. Otherwise, that's too far. I may have to clear out a tree. Because I can't just move the trees anymore, unfortunately. That is the one thing that I wish they had left alone, is I wish you could still um, move the trees once they were grown. Because I would for sure grow a bunch of trees in one spot, and then put them where I wanted them to go eventually. Oh yeah, forgot they had two moons. I don't have enough. I think that's gonna take like 20 to 30 minutes to, to be done with, so I don't know. We're gonna be able to finish it tonight. Because I still have another nine to go, which is about eh, five minutes, so it's not too much. But, oh, I have more than nine. I have 19. I'm just kidding. That's another 10 to 20 minutes. So, um, this may have to be a project that I work on next time. Not that I really wanted to make it a next time type of thing. I wanted to finish it tonight since it was like all one thing. But, I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if it had to wait, you know? I don't know where this stuff was. That was all together, but where was the... Did the other stuff get accidentally put into the... Magic mover? Because I can't really decorate this area... And... Oh, no. Uh, I can't really decorate this area until we... Uh, move everything. So, only walls that are not going to move can have stuff on them. And of course, this is not allowed to stay where it was, because, you know, of course it's not. Um, we can put it here. We'll move it later, and I'll only realize I need to move it later once we come back, but... Um... I don't know. So, it takes about 30 to 40 seconds to finish each one. And... I need... a lot more of them. I also need to adjust where these are gonna be as the other thing. So once this is in place, on. once this is in place, um, this whole line of the pathway is gonna have to move. So one option would be to move the entire house forward and make it a shorter walkway, which I don't love. I, st I love the size of our walkway right now, but I could always make it shorter so that we can stick the, the thing here. Um, how much shorter would I have to make it? Um, I could do it. I could make this shorter for now, and then that would allow us to see where we need to cut this to line up with this. And go from there. So let's... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and grab this and make it like that. That should be short enough, I think. Okay, it doesn't seem to have cut anything. We'll make it bigger again. 
when we can. Did it shove any of those into the house? Doesn't look like it, actually. Okay, let's go outside. Uh, they'll probably disappear once this thing is built, actually. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. We might actually get lucky and we only have to move it a little bit. Now, ideally, I would just move the gazebo back, but I don't think I can move it back anymore. I think we're at the limit of where the gazebo can go. So, we're just gonna have to... to move the curve... a little more, like, quickly. So, like, here into here instead. This is probably where it'll end up going. So, that's not too bad. I don't want to move it until we know exactly where it needs to go, but I have a feeling that it's just going to move a little bit tighter in. Did you call in a chat? What the heck are you talking about? So... This will get turned, like, here, basically. Instead of the big winding way that I liked, uh, it'll have to be... Oh, wrong button. Have to be a little different. Now, I could, conceivably, move this stuff over. Ow. Uh, and just move this to where it lines up. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it certainly would be a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, hmm... No, because the other thing is that I wanted to move it back. So I'll probably just move it back, and it'll automatically line up with the the place it needs to be. So, maybe not, because it would have to be, like, here. I don't know. We'll see. It will all make sense when this is built, which is going to take... A lot of minutes because not only do we have to wait for the stuff to be created we have to wait for the countdown timer so I may go ahead and do that part off stream like the actual starting and finishing of it um, and then we'll just do the rest of the decoration next week when we're back because that's gonna be another 10 which is like another uh, how long? a few minutes so to make another 10 of these, it's going to be at least three to four more minutes, and then I think it's 30 minutes to build it. So, if it's going to take 30 minutes to build this, uh, that's a little bit too late for me, but it's not the end of the world. What we'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up uh, redoing this anyway, because of, there's just so many lights going on. Um, but if I end up not needing that many stones, I won't need that many lights, and we won't need to be making any more. Grove at B4. It's not, we're not in Bahari. What is happening? Uh, I don't know what's happening. I'm just putting another apple everywhere. Maybe we are accidentally in Bahari. I don't... Maybe we're in Bahari chat somehow? <coughs> I don't think so, but I know where things have happened, I guess. Oh well. I was trying to push it to where we could do another round with our... Oh, God, look at that apple tree. It looks so sparse right there. Uh... You okay, tree? Yeah. Maybe if I turn it, it'll make me feel better. Hiding the bald spots. Hiding the bald spots from people who come by because my apple trees don't need to look ugly. Yeah, now nobody can tell that my apple trees are bald. I don't know why I did that, as if I was going to call somebody instead of like this. So. What is happening? Anywho. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to wait for this 
to finish, which means I gotta keep checking on the dang wood, because otherwise we won't be able to do anything. We still have another six to make, which... It's like two to three more minutes, not too bad. Annoying, but not completely undoable, you know? And then I think what I'm gonna end up doing with this whole section is I'm gonna take it out and replace it with the um, the white fencing and then have my grove and worm farms and seeds and stuff uh, over here ish so that I can put it sort of in its own little area and make it look a little cuter even though it'll be functional as well because that's kind of the thing is I want it to be aesthetically pleasing for me so that I like looking at it but I also want it to be functioning so that I can actually use the stuff. Um, still trying to figure out what's going on with these little strips. I think they're specifically for like a thing. I think their entire purpose is to put a lamp on. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to give in and put a lamp on them. Uh, did I put the other one at the very top? I don't actually know. We're gonna get up there and move them because that's not correct, but I wanted to see where it was supposed to be. Alright, let's grab this abomination over here. We're going to have to grab the other half, but for now, we're going to grab this half. Boop. That's going to be fun. People are going to be like, why do you have a staircase leading up to the top of your house? Don't worry about it. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of creative people out there that make their own two-story house out of, like, the, um, builder's stuff, but I am not one of those people. Did I make it shorter, or was the other house just shorter? I think the other house was just shorter. Alright, so this is not where I thought it was going to go. I want it to be directly on this thing, I think. Eh, you're not directly on the thing. You're supposed to be directly on the thing. Perfect. And now you, who is wildly not on the thing. Just the most not on it it could have possibly been. There we go. Um, I really only want these to turn on at night, but that's not an option. So, that's not too bad. I think what I may do is I may put the lights on the inside of the windows and then just have those as like looking out so the light comes from within the house rather than without on outside the house. But I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I don't want to make too many changes to like the inside of the house or what I'm doing on the inside of the house until I'm able to get it in the layout that I'm looking for. All right, it's 5 a.m. so it's almost time to grab everything from, or to do more stuff with the trees is what I was gonna say. And also to grab, I think hopefully, the last of the wood. So, all right, I grabbed this one, right? Sure, maybe. All right, let's see what happens if I put this here to where it's on the inside of the house, turn off the lamp from the outside, and see, like, what it looks like visually. Because I may have to then cover it with something to actually make it look good on the inside of the house, but, you know, maybe I'll end up hating it and I'll just have to do it anyway uh, this way, where it's on the outside of the house. That's not too bad. Hmm. Mm. No, I liked it better on the outside. Uh. Eh, I'll get it when I come back. Seven. Is that the amount I needed? Maybe. Yay! Finished. So now it has a roof. But also. It's going to take 
42 minutes. Yikes. I thought it was 30. It's actually longer. Okay. So let me change the lamps out again. Because uh, otherwise I'm going to come back and be like, why did I put a lamp in here? And then we will uh, get headed out. Because unfortunately I do have to work in the morning. So I do have to get headed out. Yay. I wish I could change the flowers that were here, though. That's my only thing, is that since I can't make these into bay windows, um, I wish I could change the flowers or, inversely, change the window itself. Because um, if I could change these little windows, that would be my goal. I would want the bigger windows, is essentially what I'm getting at. But the game won't let me. That's okay. I'll, uh, I'll get over it. Um, I'm thinking what I'll probably end up doing is moving this spring fever swing onto the porch, maybe? Let's see if it fits. Let's see if it fits real quick. Oh, of course it fits. There's just so much space right here. Ah, uh, what? Wait, why is it not a valid placement location? Wait, is it only outdoors? Okay, I can fit it here. Can't fit it four feet this way. Oh. It's an outdoors only, so it can't go on the porch. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I'll need to find another couch-like thing that I can either make look like a swing or instead of a swing. We're getting a lot of Bahari um, chatter, which I don't know how that works, but okay, I need my anvil because I'm dying. My uh, poor watering can would downgrade if I didn't. Okay, and then I need to do this. Fertilizer, fertilizer, fertilizer. Fertilizer, fertilizer. You may be wondering, Cece, how did you put fertilizer on all this and you haven't gotten the weekly fertilizer thing? Well, chat, that is because I actually did the fertilizer part first uh, right before I got on the stream. I'm just going to be so for real with y'all. Uh, I got online for like two to three minutes right before I went live um, and I fertilized everything and watered everything hoping that it would cause it to be harvestable once we actually played. And it wasn't. It took another cycle. But, you know, that's okay. We still got to harvest it at least once during the stream. So now I know that I've harvested it twice. Um, I think I get a third harvest out of it. But I think the third harvest is the only other harvest. So if there's only three harvests in it, then hopefully we'll have enough to fill up our preserve things three times total, hopefully, um, and still be able to make seeds out of it, so I can make another round of seeds. If it's four times, that's even better, but I have a feeling that it's only three. So that'll be something we have to work on. Um, we still have so much to do when it comes to decorating, only because we changed up our entire house. The uh, second floor is hopefully gonna be a real fun area to decorate. Um, I'm not sure what to do with the whole thing just yet. I know that I want to make that sitting area up top into something neat. I just don't know what yet because there's not really like um, any objects I can use as like a fake television, which could be cool. But I'm thinking either like a painting with two bookshelves or if I can get a hold of the aquarium or the terrarium, I could put those up there. Just something that would be usable in that little space. Uh, so I have a lot of ideas to go into that and I don't know how quickly I'll be able to do any of them because I gotta figure out how I can make all this work first. So we're gonna finish this large room, upgrade in progress obviously, 37 minutes to go. We're gonna attach this to it so I may have to clear out some of this area, which I don't love that this will be lined up with the gazebo, but I don't completely hate it. My fear is that if I move the Grand Harvest House back, 
I may have to move the gazebo and everything back as well. So what may end up happening is the gazebo may have to come up here to the corner of the lot, and then these will just have to be redone completely. Not the end of the world, but still not the ideal. Uh, I may get rid of the pergola and just knock that out and just put the uh, the lights that we liked that are in it, the string lights, um, just out in another area. So I may do that for, say, this area with the trellis um, and make that like our little gardening area instead. Um, but it's all a work in progress. Of course, we could change it all up at any time. We could get on next week and then decide this whole thing has to go and we're starting from scratch. So you never know. We might we might redo the whole thing. We might look at Tish's place uh, a few more times and change our minds a few more times. Um, I may find something else to do with this section over here because while I do like my little picnic area, it's kind of bland now that it's not like um, near the front of the house or anything. So gotta fix that. I don't know what this plot value means, but I'm not worried about it. I would like to be able to incorporate this watering thing somehow, but I think my better option would be to try to save up for the koi pond, which is from uh, harvesting forgeables and harvesting trees. So lots to do, plenty of time to get it done. Um, one of the best things about Polya is that everything is at your own pace. So even though we got a lot of stuff done today, we also didn't get a lot of stuff done today. So we still have a lot of work ahead of us, but we did get all of our lights done, which is cool. Uh, we just have to move everything around and redo some of our lights and that's okay. It's just a work in progress. So. Thank you everybody so much for tuning in. I hope you have a restful, relaxing rest of your evening. I hope you get a snack if you need it, and I hope you remember to hydrate, because it is good for your brain and your body. Um, I am going to be back tomorrow with some more Stardew Valley. Um, I don't know if we'll be playing Stardew Valley the next week, or if we will be switching it up. Uh, we may do a couple more rounds of Stardew Valley, and then switch to a very similar game that is less pixel, more 3D, but we'll see. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be back Thursday with some more Endless Ocean. I was debating doing an earlier stream since it's 4th of July, so it's a holiday here, so I am off of work. Um, but I will make announcements if I do all that, and I'll decide all that at a later point. Not going to decide it right the second, because I don't want to promise anything, and then my day goes crazy, and I can only stream at the uh, recommended time, so or not recommended time, normal time, Pfft, schedule is the word I was looking for, it's scheduled time. You can tell I need some sleep. So once again, thank you everybody so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye!